Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the really awesome Tin Hearts. Now, this was developed by Rogue Sun, published by Wired Productions, who I should thank a megaton for letting me be part of their awesome creator program and is usually available for $24.99 slash $29.99 but it's included with Xbox Game Pass right now. So we play as the most Victorian British name you'll ever hear, Albert J. Butterworth, who is a toy maker and it's our job to guide those toys through 51 levels of puzzling puzzles, beautiful locations and mind-bending stuff. All makes for a crackling game. Oh, quite rather. Now as for achievements, uh, there's quite a few you'll get for completing each act and without using fewer than sort of three to five hints each, which with this guide hopefully you, you shouldn't be uh, using any hints at all, story related ones and a few easy miscellaneous ones too, but we do have to find and kick 18 chicken butts in particular levels. There are also five ways in which the soldiers can die, so we also need to find them, and we need to make sure that when we get our soldiers to the exit, the number on the door matches how many you've got, but I'll explain more in a little bit. Overall, you're looking at around six to eight hours to get this done. It's a really great game. So with that being said then, let's do it. Now, as you can see there with the tutorial, we need to make sure to do the uh, standard, the normal tutorial. Don't do the fast track tutorial purely because um, there are quite a few achievements which we are going to grab. Um, and you can't do it with the fast tutorial because it actually skips over that. So, and it's always worth, you know, having a look and seeing what you got and seeing what you do. And, well, just, uh, I mean, just enjoy looking at my ball in your face for a minute. My white balls. The, 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 the energy balls. Sorry. Anyway, and uh, by the way, skip, uh, cutscenes and dialogues unskippable in this game. So... Just enjoy things floating towards you like a 3D thing, like you were on an acid trip or something. Albert, listen. Now, the way that these words are, you know, lined up there, it kind of reminds me of that one meme. Tin heart. No, it says tin hass. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Always good for a meme. Anyway, uh, apparently, all we got to do here then is just open the box here with the A button. That'll get your soldier out. Now, obviously, this took me basically all Christmas to do this one. So I really do hope that you appreciate the work that has gone into this one, because, my God, there were some levels that just, uh, well, you know, shall we say, pissed me off. But, uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll just make this nice and easy for you. I uh, didn't spend Christmas with my family because I was too busy trying to do this one. Anyway, that's the prologue done. Now we go on to the next bit of prologue. So, there is actually an achievement for basically exiting three ways um, out of this particular part. So, first of all, then we're going to get our soldier out. Now, as you can see with the blocks, then you can pick it up with the A button, uh, but we're just going to leave it for a minute. So we'll just wait for old Banta Claus to get his uh, grizzly bearded butt square in there. And we're going to see this a lot throughout the sort of beginning of the game. Anyway, these are basically... Uh, random magical powers that we can get. So, uh, once we open it up, we'll press the A button to touch it. Oh my god! Don't touch me like that! It excites me! Haven't been touched like that in years! Anyway, you know, gives us the ability to pick up blocks and rotate them and stuff like that. So what we can do then, if you feel like your tin soldiers are, you know, getting in the way or whatever, or they're just getting a bit annoying and you can't control them just yet, 
hold the A button on the box to put them back in the box so you can set up your uh, set up the puzzle the way you need it and then we can go uh, and then we can go again so the first one then we're going to get this uh, soldier out the box and then we're just going to bounce him up and then we're going to pick it up we are going to spin it around so again you press up on the d-pad twice and then obviously uh, right on the d-pad once again it's it's very easy to sort of get used to and everything but we basically have to turn the turn it around until the uh, t block uh, looks like that that is one of the ways that we can exit this level now immediately press the start button and then we are going to choose restart this level so basically when you see the save icon in the top right hand corner that means that the way you've just done it has saved so, uh, yeah, so again, like I said, we have to do three different methods. So that was the first one. Uh, again, we're going to have to wait for him to nip up so we can grab the T, grab the T-Sty kills. Right, so we're going to uh, get the soldier back in. Obviously, we've still got the magic power, so that's all good. That is one good thing about this game. And we're going to pick up the T-block. We are going to, again, just spin it around. And then we are going to place it on the block to the right. Or the, the panel. We'll call them sort of pieces. Yeah, we'll just call them panel pieces or panels, whatever. Anyway, once that is on the right-hand side and it's sort of looking... Uh, to the down to the bottom right as you can see it there all you got to do is just wait until the soldier goes through to the exit and that is method two out of three done and again um obviously when the soldier goes through the door wait until the save icon at the top right hand corner has started and then we are going to restart this level one more time so there we go do it again as soon as the save icon appears restart the level again and then we can finally move on but again, you'll have to do the same thing. So, A on the box, wait for the big T. Now, there are a few different blocks. There's a T, there's a moon, there's a triangle, there's a square. That's what I'll be referring the blocks to, rather than yellow, green, red, and whatever the other ones are. Right, so for the last time on this level, what we're going to do then is, as you can see, we've put the T block over to the, uh, in fact, we're just going to wait for a second. So we put the T block over to the right. We wait until the soldier passes the left panel. And then we put the T block back over to the left hand side. And there we go. So that's going to be that one. That's going to be our first achievement done. Uh, called, what is it? Strategist. Strategist. So there we go. Again, because we've restarted the level, once, again, in terms of, like, the collectibles and if there's something specific that you do in the game, as soon as the save icon appears, that means that thing has been collected or that thing has been done, so you don't need to do it again. That's definitely one of the good things about this game. Right, so we're cracking on then with the next part of the prologue. So we're going to pick up the T-block, first of all. And this is where we start getting used to a lot of more puzzle blocks so obviously you can see there with the little line you'll know when a piece will fit when it obviously directs directs you to it effectively uh so we'll pick up the triangle one next 
And again, it'll all just be sort of getting used to it. Where, obviously, you can put it down to the soldiers can, um, obviously, bounce bounce off them so as you can see this is basically the way we're going to set it up now obviously throughout the entirety of the game i'm not going to be uh, telling you exactly you know i'm not going to be commentating through exactly how which piece should look um it's more or less just if you have a look i'll, I'll try and sort of keep it simple and then i'll let you know exactly how it looks uh, so you can just copy the setup especially in the earlier levels anyway um but again, like I said, so remember, you can flip them horizontally and vertically with up and down, left and right. Um, and apparently we can, I don't know what the hell we are. We're some kind of ghost or something. Anyway, once you have uh, everything set up here, we're going to get yet another magic power. And it is a clock. So luckily, um, we can fast forward time, which comes a lot in handy since a lot of the later levels especially are quite long. And, uh, well, wouldn't this just take forever and a day to watch them all slowly get to their point? So there we go, with the other piece there just at the top, you can now press the A button on the clock in order to possess it, and press the A button if you want time to go slow. But as I said, if you have a look at the top there, there should be three, and three have gone in. So uh, with every exit door, there will be a number, again, and this is specifically then for achievements, as long as you've got the same amount of soldiers that have gone through the door, so, you know, 3 out of 3, 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, then uh, that's good. If you don't, then a little bit later on we'll have the ability to rewind and you'll just have to try again or restart the level. But again, they are for basically collecting all soldiers. You cannot miss one. So, uh, yeah. So let's do that, huh? Right, so first things first. Once we have, once the first guy's gone off... We can go and put this triangle... Well, I did try and... Yeah. Anyway, now we can put the triangle one just over to the left. So, of course, what's going to happen now as we touch this next secret power... So, get, get back in the box. What's in the box? Definitely not uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's head. Right, so now what we can do is possess from afar, which always comes in handy, doesn't it? So, um, obviously, we'll grab this first triangle one here and pop this just in front of the box. Um, now, obviously, it, it does get quite obvious what you need to do in terms of um, where the soldiers need to go. So, obviously, you'll... You need to bounce the soldiers off the flat side, the sort of flatter side of the um, half a triangle, if you want to call it that. Uh, but we're going to be getting another achievement here. This one, I think, is unmissable anyway. Um, but as long as you have everything set up like so right now, yeah, we can just click the clock and away we go. So basically, when our one soldier touches the picture there at the back of Helen... Um, well, that's going to be another achievement, and it's just going to pop it off to the right, and as you can see, there's four we need, we've got four, that'll do, that'll do, Dickens. So, how are we doing? We're getting all used to it now. We're getting nice and uh, nice and slicey, mate. Fantastic. That's exactly what we want. Right, so, um, again, this one's kind of an easy one then. All we've got to do is just uh, follow some setup. So, we're going to get a T-block first. We're going to pop this close to the exit door and have it obviously pointing to the right. So, we know when the soldiers go up there, they're going to hit the flat side and bounce off to the right. That's what we need. Uh, grab another U-shape. 
and then we'll obviously pop that one just towards the door and then finally um we are going to we do actually need the next u shape and a triangle shape as well so we'll grab this triangle shape here from the back and we will pop this down uh, we can't put it there oh in fact we can put it there sorry i was thinking of the wrong one we can't put it there and then we will grab the u block just next to it put that where we just place the next triangle block and that will be that let your soldiers go possess the clock because apparently you am the most victorian british ghost there ever was <laughs> and that's level five done Congratulations, we're on the final level of the prologue. Nice, right, so first we'll do, uh, put the moon just at the sort of top there. Now with the triangle one, um, we are going to move this into the middle right there. So you're doing a bit of bouncing again. And then we are, we are going to get a U shape and place that down the middle. But for now, we will open up the blocks. So of course, we're going to get yet another super power. The power of Tarkin, Northern Irish. And that was definitely not Northern Irish. This is where the cutscenes are effectively going to begin. Um, you know, just as you're doing stuff in the levels, the uh, daughter, yourself, and your wife will appear and do some random stuff. But actually, we now have the ability to walk places. So, if you're a ghost, um, and somehow if you're a ghost and watching, then subscribe and give me some money. Uh, no, no, but I mean, if you're a ghost and you're wondering why you can't walk, just... Simply be a toy maker and find some shoes in a random box. Anyway, we're going to get another achievement here. We're basically just going to take a few steps forward, which we have to anyway. Uh, don't worry, your tin soldiers can't uh, fall off and die, so don't worry. But now we can move forward, grab a U-shape off this table. You'll obviously get your next achievement there, find your steps. We're going to place this just next to the exit door. And uh, yeah, that should pretty much be it we're just gonna grab one more let's grab the old titty titty tt so grab the t block oh geez yeah sometimes it can get a little all over the show and all over the place um again if you want to you can possess the box and get him back but you should be okay to just let it go so once it's set up like that this is the prologue done and act one it begins Like I said, every time you go to the exit, make sure that you have, you know, five out of five, six out of six, etc. So this is the study. Um, you will always come here after the prologue. Obviously, the more we can just continue the game straight off, which would be level seven. Um, but you can return to the study anytime if you want to replay a certain level, um, you know, anything like that. So that is where you're going to 
yeah, do stuff if you need to do some other stuff. So we're going to grab the first T-block, which was right in front of us. And we're going to put this one um, effectively where the drawings are. Very good rainbow drawings. Drawn by me, age 33. Um, grab the triangle block there just from behind you, basically where we started. We're going to put this one where the exit door is, just before the exit door. Next up, we're going to take a left, go to some piles of books, and we're going to grab the U shape. Again, I'm not saying blue, purple, you know, just in case there are people like me who have trouble seeing colours or are colourblind themselves. Um, it's just easier to explain. Uh, the U shape, anyway, will go next to the other drawing. Um, moon, Mr. Moon, Moon, will go onto the left side panel here from where we are. And I think that could just be about it. Uh, no, one more. One more behind us, of course. Sorry. So we go for the big T. There's a T block which was behind us. So we'll go towards the door and then place this T block down. Again, always look for the directional lines when you know you can uh, place it down. And then that... Think that should be that, yes. So open we are oh there's one directly in front of us, of course. Another hidden another hidden beautiful one. Sorry, getting a bit ahead of myself on this level. It is another Mr. Moon. So grab the Mr. Moon one, pop this down, and now we can open up the box. Fast forward time, and that is how the setup should look. And again, there was seven that we had to get through the door, so just make sure all seven got through. So we're going to get some new mechanics again, of course. Just to the right of us, though, there are the blocks which we're going to grab. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of setting up first. So if we go to the table here with the train, um, we're going to chuck Mr. Moon down. So obviously the soldiers will start going to the right. If you grab another, if you go back and then grab another T block, we're going to put that just in front of the train track. There we go, so it's basically uh, facing towards the ting. We've also got cannons and things which you can use as well. Um, uh, as you can see, there's two cannons directly in front of us, so that's what we're going to be using. But first of all, we are going to open up the box, get them going. We're going to possess time, just let it go a little bit quicker for a sec. And that'll get our powers all good. So now this is the best invention in the whole game, the stopwatch. So now we basically have the ability to fast forward, rewind, and pause time whenever we want. Which, of course, this comes in mega handy. And now, obviously, we don't want any of these soldiers dying. So when we get it straight away, you can see that some are already dropping off to their doom and their death. So, of course, what we can do is, as you can see, you can press the right bumper to pause, the uh, left trigger to rewind and the right trigger to fast forward. So obviously what we need to do is rewind. So we're gonna rewind until we all get onto the previous table, first of all. There we go. So uh, yeah, again, this one's gonna come in extremely megaly handy. Uh, so just go ahead, grab the Mr. Moon block, first of all then. 
So now we know what to do. And of course, with the pause as well, the best thing is when it's paused, it'll tell you the direction that the soldiers are going in. So as you can see, because we've placed the moon block down now, it's telling us that it's going to go up to the right. So again, that's a fantastic mechanic, which <laughs> just comes in mega handy. We're going to get another power now. So again, you can keep fast forwarding if you want, because they're just going to drop down and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But we're going to touch this so we can touch up some red blocks. That sounded wrong. Uh, just grab some red blocks right on the... No, that sounded wrong. Anyway, we, we can pick up some red blocks. Uh, basically, uh, we'll just call them free. Free blocks, red blocks. I won't call it free, because um, if I say freedom, the whole of America is going to go into freedom. I, I'm, I'm joking, America. You know I love you. So now we can start doing some red block stuff. Here they are right next to the... Uh, Square block of nothing. So again, it, it works just the same as the other blocks then, so you can rotate it vertically and horizontally. Um, so we're going to put this just down, uh, one down by the jar, first of all. And then we're going to grab yet another one. And we'll pop this at the top, because obviously what we can do now, remember we can rewind it. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm a little bit stuck right now. No, remember we can rewind it and they will just jump. Um through the so basically if whatever path they were on before even if there's something in the way now they'll still rewind uh from that path if you get what i mean you'll see what i mean now but we're basically going to be uh just setting up this little path here so we'll turn these blocks around so they're effectively heading down to the left so now we will rewind uh it may take a little bit of time but eventually we get there hey man there we go so as you can see even though the blocks in the way because they've done the, the chosen path uh, first, they obviously won't get uh, too much in the way. So, um, again, rewind it a little bit. You will probably have to be doing this. Sometimes it is a bit of trial and error, but obviously all you got to do is just press the pause button to see if they're going to hit the required item of what you need. Sometimes can be a bit finicky as well. Um... But there we go. So as long as you see then that they are bouncing off the drum, then you know you're onto a winner. So basically, as soon as they all get on to the um, path, you can actually go ahead and just pick up one of the red blocks again. So that's what you'll end up doing a lot of as well. Um, well, I kind of messed this. Uh, well, I could, could have done this bit easier. But obviously, when the last soldier hits a red block, you can obviously pick up that red block, put it in front etc etc uh, again could have done this a bit easier but you know it, it's the thought that counts so anyway once you have gotten everything all the soldiers in a line they should now be all good to go so again as long as you've got eight we're on to a wiener What's this, Daddy? Hmm? Where? Uh, no, no, no. Best leave that be. But what is it? I want to take a peek, I... please. You will, you will, when it's ready. Is it something for me? Well, all I can say is that it's a very special treat for a very special girl. Oh, do you hear that? I think Mummy is calling. Coming, Mummy! <laughs> Bro has got serious Alan Rickman vibes from Love Actually there, cheating on Emma Thompson. How could you cheat on Emma Thompson? Although the scene with uh, Rowan Atkinson as the jeweller is uh, is top-notch. Top-notch British comedy. Right, so as we begin the next level then, we are going to set up a couple of prism blocks. Or the red blocks, or whatever ones it are. So the first one we are going to do just in front of the box, first of all. And we're going to grab... Again, you'll notice there are only three, and we will have several turns to make. But obviously, as, you, uh, as I mentioned in the last one... In the last level, we can just reuse those blocks once these soldiers have gotten clear of said things. So this next red block we will face put just in front of the letter, roughly about there. 
And then the last one, obviously, we're going to put just ahead of that or just behind it. And again, remember, when you get your toy soldiers out, press pause just to see if you've got everything on the go and that it's going all well. Um, obviously, if you see that they're going to go straight past, past the block or they're not going in the direction that you want, obviously, just do a little bit of trial and error. Just move the blocks around until you get it in the perfect position. So, obviously, the positions that I'm showing you um, are the positions that you need in order to proceed. But again, sometimes, as I said, um, I might do it a little bit yeah. Uh, ew, Mr. Butterworth. Uh, so yeah, obviously I might do it a little bit crappier and, you know, you just got to move the blocks about a little bit, that's all. But anyway, as you can see then, once you have, as the uh, last soldier has cleared the first block, you can just go ahead and place it into the next area. Fairly obvious where the exit is and where we're going with this one. Again, wait for the next, the last soldier to clear the next block and then of course you can do the next one. And then once the last soldier clears the next block, put that one down and then continue to the right. First impressions and led to this invitation, nay, plea, to come work with us in the crafting of artifacts to delight the young and confound the old. I shall waste not a moment more of your precious time and set to waiting for a reply at your earliest convenience. So, you're going to pick up the next red block, put it to the left, and then, again, it's fairly obvious from where we're going, we need to pick up another one, put it to the left, and then just one more red block facing the door, and that is level 9. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I think that last door was just describing me then. A solid 10 out of 10. <laughs> In an alternate reality, perhaps. So we're going to go ahead and get two achievements now. First one, we are going to basically kill off our soldiers 250 times. Um, so all you need to do is open up the box. There's 10 of these soldiers in the box, so we'll just... Continue to fast forward them to the death, repossess them in the box, and just keep going. You have to kill these soldiers off 250 times. Now, at the time of me when I was playing this, at the time of uh, when I played this, uh, this specific achievement didn't work, but it does work at the time of recording. So, again, all you, so like I said, all you got to do is keep doing this until the cannon fodder achievement unlocks. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you the full 250. I'm just basically showing you what to do in this first bit. Um, but, yeah, so... Yeah, sadly and annoyingly, as is the norm with games these days, bugs and glitches and everything didn't unlock. But just keep doing this, then, until you get the cannon fodder achievement for killing 250 of your soldiers. Uh, but when we are good to go, we're gonna, we, got, we are going to get another achievement as well in just a little bit. But basically, what we're going to do, we're going to grab a couple of these prison blocks. Um, and onto this U-shaped table that we are already currently on, we need to route the soldiers around and on to the drum. Um, which is just behind us. So if we, we are going to place one obviously just in the middle of the uh, box there, just behind or just in front of this duck. And then another one to go down.
So once you've noticed then that your path is going to take you directly onto the drum, we can now put another block over. Now, what the game wants you to do is go to the left, but we're actually going to just go to the right in order to get the Tunneler achievement. So we will put this last prison block here. We're going to get the soldiers going. As soon as the last one has hit the first block that we placed down, we can obviously pause the game again. Right bumper, of course, as you will know by now. Grab the prison block. And now we are going to turn this into basically a ramp. So obviously the way you do that, you press up and down to rotate it vertically. And then um, we need to place it basically just where the book of the standing book is so we can go through the tunnel so we can grab another prison block and we'll just turn it around and then when you can see that the path is directing you under the book you can just go ahead fast forward it until now what you can actually do there is place a uh, place another prison block after which should put you just about on the drum in fact it should put you on the drum um but once you've got the Tunneler achievement, so yeah, you can actually place another block down, go to the left to go onto the drum, onto the next part there. But for some reason, I decided to do this the uh, the smelly-ass awkward way, the smelly bum awkward way. I don't know why it's smelly-ish, bum-ish, or awkward, but uh, yeah, so I decided to go the long way around. But again, just make sure, sometimes with the drums, if you actually click on the drum itself, it'll tell you which direction that the drum is going to. Sometimes it'll go uh, a completely different way than what you want. So obviously you just need to readjust the drum to where you want it to go. So as you can see, it's all good. So we can get our soldiers going. Again, make sure if you're, if you're feeling a bit worried or anything, just count how many soldiers you've got. Also, again, another thing, if one of your soldiers has fallen to its death or died somewhere, on the screen you can see, um, basically, it's like a sad face, which basically means soldiers died. So, there we go. But now we should be all good to go, so we'll uh, continue on forward to the exit, grab another prison block to place it towards the exit, and ding, 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 you're the winner! Right, so the last one, again, solid 10 out of 10. So, what we're going to do first of all then, we're going to go ahead and grab a Mr. Moon block, go back to the left towards the balloon, you can see in the top left-hand corner. Uh, of course, we need to get to the chest, which is just located here. So, we're going to grab the T block and put that so it is facing towards the right. And then we need to grab another two blocks, um, as you can see, to make it go to the left. So the first one's going to be a triangle block. And we're going to put that there and then grab a U block. And that will get the chest open and another power for our ghostly self. <laughs> we can basically manipulate a couple of toy trains so make sure to rewind first of all of course so none of your soldiers have it doid then we're going to grab this train we're going to um obviously place it towards the opposite side of the train track now the reason we're doing this is so that the soldiers will bounce off the blue block which is on the train go over to the saw and nip straight through exit door uh now again that's not going to work since there is a book in the way very, uh, very uh, uh, annoying, whoever put that there. 
But there we go. So once you've got it and you see that it's going to the exit, fast forward your way through life and it's job done, honey. Okay, so on to level 12 then. What we're going to do, we are, first of all, we're going to move the train and some blocks. Uh, we're basically going to put a U-shape. So just in the middle there, we're going to put a, uh, well, a triangle shape there, first of all. But what we need is a U-shape in the middle, a triangle and a T-shape. So just uh, follow along for the minute just to uh, see how you're supposed to set this bit up. And just before you go too nuts, make sure to put the train to the other side here so the, the little soldier gears can bounce off the blue block again. So effectively what you're doing then is getting one big circle on, which uh, as you can see with the moon wasn't quite happening just yet. So if again, if that happens, just move the train a little bit further forward and there you go. Now you should be good. So, basically, now what we're going to do, once the soldiers have, um, <laughs> hello, Alfred, Albert, whatever your name is. So, once the toys have, uh, once the soldiers have bounced off the blue block off the train, you're then going to move the train and put it to the opposite side of where we, or where it is right now. Oops, sorry right there, forgot to add the T-block. But again, once you have put the train down, you should be good to go. And then you can get the uh, green T-block. So once the uh, soldiers here have uh, bounced off that final block right there, the triangle one, sorry, not the T, we're going to put this one on the chair. And then we'll fast forward to hill over to the other side. And then when we're here with the train, we are going to move this to the opposite side of where it was, just so the soldiers can bounce off the blue block through the exit, and we're going for a solid 10 out of 10 again. Oh yes, drunken knights. 10 out of 10s. quickly getting through this now level 13 already so if you have a look to the right here we got two trains which are on the track so the, the one furthest away from us we're going to put it all the way um effectively sort of up until it is um sort of more or less in line with the box first of all 
So obviously we know that the soldiers there, the box is on the left, so the soldiers are going to bounce off the old blue block. And then with the next one, we're going to put the train uh, roughly where the old piggies are. So obviously we all know what's going to happen here then. It's going to bounce off one train onto the next one, and it's going to hit the drum, which is the bottom of the table, and nip on over. So again, bit of um, bit of trial and error here, but there we go. So as long as you've got that one, you should be good to go. Uh, next, we need to get a triangle piece. We're going to pop that one down on the block, just um, obviously after the drum. So now the soldier's going to head up. Then we're going to go ahead and grab a Mr. Moon piece, and we're going to put that one obviously to the left, so the soldiers will start bouncing to the left. And then we're going to grab T, Mr. T's T. T. And then that will bounce onto the drum. And then you should be good uh, in order for your soldiers to nip on true. So it's effectively good now to go all the way to the exit. So, job done. Oh, well, I don't know about that. What I do know is that I've got the best little helper in the world. Yo, dad, bro, you genius, bro, is what they used to say in Victorian times. Right. So, what we're going to do then is... Now, remember I said about five specific deaths for the soldiers um, a little earlier on. This is the second one. The first one, of course, is killing yourself by jumping off Assassin's Creed crappy style. Uh, the next one here is the Jack in the Box. So, before carrying on with the story, we're going to do this one first. So, we're going to place a Mr. Moon, Mr. T, and then a Mr. Triangle down. Um, and then we're also going to grab the uh, last block here, the U block. So what we're going to do is make sure that our soldiers go up to the right, first of all. And then as soon as there's the jack in the box then, so as soon as your soldiers get eaten, again, when you are playing the game now, um, as long as it's got, to have a look at the save in the top right, as long as it's got the symbol, the save symbol in the top right hand corner, that means that you have been eaten and beaten um, and that counts as one or uh, your two of your uh, daily total towards your five deaths. Um, now, if for whatever reason, now sometimes again, a couple of little glitches and bugs in this game. For me, it was the stopwatch thing. So if, as you can see, it's not working for me at the minute, and then it finally decides to work. But if that's the case, just repossess your toys in the soldier box, and then it should be fine then. But there's the Jack in the Box then. He decides to eat us because, I mean, dude's alive, which is pretty scary in itself. But once that one is done then again, so that is now the Instrument of Death 2 out of 5 that you should be on now. Okay, so let's put them all back in the box and do this stuff toidy. So we're going to just go ahead and pop a couple of things back. So put the tea back and then we're going to go and find some prism blocks in a green cake. Green crate over the right hand side. So there they are. So, what we're going to do now is use these prism, basically the prism blocks, to route the soldiers in front of where the open book is and then towards the balloon machine. So, um, obviously, you just need to put it in uh, such a way that we're going past the open book and the balloon machine is right there. So, one block up and then one block to the right. And that'll go straight for the Ezito. In the box. Please keep this gift to remind you that our offer is eternally open. And should circumstances prevail to change your mind, simply return him to us and let us commence our collaboration. Yours respectfully, Lucian Mantelfell.
I do really laugh at the way Bro just said Jack in the box. It's like when Americans or anyone calls Spider-Man Spider-Man. No, it's not a second name. It's Jack in the box. Not Hi, my name's Jack in the box. Anyway. Right, so we can grab a new chest here, uh, which will control the positioning of drums, which we obviously couldn't do before. So we're going to use the two prison blocks here just to make a little path. Uh, we're going to go ahead, grab the uh, third one, which is on the stool just behind us. And then we're going to put this uh, basically just to the right there of the next prism block. So obviously what we could do now, we're going to open it up. Again, right trigger, as you know, in order to get it going forwards. Now, with this drum, obviously we don't have the ability just yet, but we are going to in just a second. Yar, now we got some superpowers. So we will possess this first drum. As you can see, it's going to put us in the middle of Buttflub Nowhere. So we are, we can move it and we can just move it directly in front of us. What will be easier is if you put it next to the cannon, which I'll show you in just a bit. Uh, but the cannon is going to be the same later on. So we can move this drum over as well. And this third drum we can pop over to hit the next drum. So as long as the... First drum's on the second drum, the second drum can go on the table, and the, the table can go into the third drum, and then the third drum can go into the next bit. So you see how it all works out? You got this! So we're going to have to do a little bit more prism blocking, as it were. Uh, so we get this one just up here to head to the exit. We don't actually need the cannon in this one. And then it's effectively just uh, sprint it out, fast forward it, exit... Down. So, for level 16, we're basically doing everything that we've learned thus far. So, uh, I get my, uh, obviously get your soldiers out, press the pause on it so you know the sort of directions that we're heading towards. So what we're going to do then, we're going to put the uh, trains, um, sort of the opposite side of, um, of the train track of where we are. Uh, and the reason we're going to do this then is obviously so we can get it through to the balloon machine. So we're going to set everything up then before we crack on. So with this T block... Uh, again, there's a, a one or two ways you can do this. We're just going to do it this way. So we'll put the T block right in the middle there. And then we're going to grab this U block from right in front of us. Um, so effectively, there we go. So if you grab this U block now, we'll pop this one down right here. So just in front of the box. Because what it what it will do and what, what you can do sometimes, you can actually just bypass the uh, panels, the puzzle piece panels. So as you can see, it's going straight over. So we need to do some man drum manipulation. So you actually need to put it straight in front of us. You need to remove the block, which is in front of us there, because we need to hit the cannon in order to get hit a book over. Uh, we'll get these two drums pointing towards each other and then the, or the left drum pointing towards the right, the right one pointing towards the exit. Um, and then, so that's everything effectively set up. So we can just fast forward it for now. Bypass that puzzle piece, nip onto the balloon machine going over. Now, like I said, we need to get rid of that other T block as it will just uh, hit the cannon. That will hit the buck over. So if there's no room, just go ahead and pop it back onto the opposite table. Thank you. 
So once we've hit it down and the cannon has gotten rid of the book or the saw, whatever was in the way, we need another U block shape. So we'll grab that U shape that we grabbed earlier. Pop this one down, the T is already there, and then it is just a case of get to the exit, my boy. Hey, come back here! Curling bodies, curling you sheep. Right, so level 17, no breaks, we just go, go, go! So what we're gonna do then, we're gonna grab uh, one of the red blocks from way in front of us there, just next to the clock. Uh, go to the, uh, there's basically four that we can grab here. So we're just gonna pop this one just over to the left-hand side for now. We're gonna grab another prism block, a red block, um, which was obviously just to the left of where we were. Um, and again, we will just put this one right here. And then if we have a look over to the right, we can find another two red blocks. There we go. So the first one we're going to need is to be just underneath the shelf where the soldiers are going to come out of. Uh, we'll position the drum to put it uh, effectively just, just in front of the saw and make sure that it's going to the left. There is a jack in the box here, um, but of course we can bypass this one easy. We're going to set up the drum. So this drum should be pointing... To the shelf if you press the Y button it can give you a precision aim because of course we need it to go through into the light. Go to the light Carolyn. Hey say go to the light Carolyn. Go to the light Carolyn. Oh sorry. That was a poor attempt at uh, Cartman and the short guy from South Park. And if you've seen that episode you'll know what I mean. It's, it's a funny one. Funny. Right so once we've got the most things set up then. Uh, yeah, well, oh, yeah, let's just get this last red block. We're going to put this one uh, as close to the sort of saw, but we're going to the, uh, we're not going straight ahead of the, the jack in the box, of course. So again, with this red block, we will put this at the side so it's going to hit the blue machine and then head over. See, we, uh, we got there eventually. Uh, so grab this next red block then and put it towards, aim it towards the drums, of course. So it's going to head up and uh, that will get straight into the chest. Now, obviously, what they're going to do is drop straight back down. So just make sure that you've got a prism block um, pointing towards the way. Now, what we need to do is get the prism blocks in order to hit the cannon. Um... But obviously after the treasure chest has appeared, after we've done the treasure chest, we can then move the cannon. And apparently I completely messed that one up. So yeah, try and aim straight as you can. This is why I pee on the floor a lot. And this is why I clean the bathroom more than once a day because my aim is terrible, as you can see. Just a little insight into my life there, sort of. Okay, I'm not that bad.
There we go. So once you've got these soldiers uh, basically in a line, you can now hit move the cannon. So moving on to the book. And then what you can do then is you can go ahead and you should be able to rewind. Uh, again, we got the power, so don't worry about that. Um, and then, of course, what we need to do now is... Um, obviously put the prison blocks in such a way that it's going to hit the cannon. So obviously just get every, so obviously get your soldiers there to the top shelf. They will drop down. So obviously what you need to do now is just turn your one red block around and then have the next red block, uh, block aiming towards the cannon. So you're kind of doing like a loop de loop almost. Okay, a loop-de-loop. -loop. What I said would have been a lot easier than the way I just described. Or the way I just done it. But anyway, yeah. So if you kind of set it up like that, hopefully you do it um, easier than I did. Because, uh, yeah, I made a right... I made a right pig's nutsack out of that one there, didn't I? Sorry. Uh, anyway, pop the next two red blocks down. Facing towards the exit. And that's the next one done. So there we go, that should be 909 then for the last one. So now we are back into level 8, I believe. Um, so, whenever you place the red blocks earlier on, will still be there, which is all good. So for now, we are going to use the cannons, which of course we didn't have the ability before, but now we do. So get the one at the bottom, shooting at the one at the top, turn that cannon around, and hit the big old Plankosaurus with that one. Oh, Plank! Oh, Planky! So once you have those set up, now we are going to need to put it into the canon. Make it all conundrumed up. Um, obviously, we've got the two treasure chests from here. So all we're doing is heading for the exit. Right. So um, pop your soldiers out and then press the pause button again. So we get a little bit of a um, little bit of a route going down. So we're going to grab Mr. Moon, first of all. We're going to pop this one down. So obviously, we can nip... We can nip it down. And then what we're going to do then is we are going to... Uh, we are going to use a T block just to the path of where Mr. Moon is. And then we're going to use a red block in order for it to hit a cannon. Or hit the cannon. So that gets rid of the saw. So if we turn around, grab any one of your red blocks and aim it towards the cannon. So once you have repositioned the train a little bit, we can go straight back. And again, a lot of these things we don't have to reposition in terms of the drums or anything. 
but that'll get rid of the plank so we can head up. Again, we're going to need Mr. Moon to grab that block back and you can put the red block back from where you found it as well. Now remember, the exit is not this one, it's a little bit further up. So this time we need to grab a red block and we need to make said Ramparoni with it this time. So chuck it around, Ramparoni it up. And then what we can do this time then, we are going to hit the cannon. Uh, but we, of course we are going to move the cannon in order to get this next plank of wood out the way. Uh, so if you're struggling a bit there, press the Y button to get your precision aim. Give that a boosh! With your touche. Boosh with your touche. That's what we like. Uh, that's obviously going to smash that one down. And then it's simply a case of using two red blocks in each corner in order to get to the exit. So you will get the Lofty Ambitions achievement here, this is basically for collecting all of the Act 1 soldiers, so that's basically getting all the soldiers through the exit door, as we said, the 6 out of 6, the 10 out of 10, etc. If you did miss one, you will just have to replay that level, um, but hopefully again with my guide, hopefully you haven't missed any. Anyway, once Albert J. Butterworth has been done, we can then go ahead and interact with the... Uh, with the hatch, and then we can just crack on to start Act 2. This is going to be the end of Act 1. Act 2, Level 19 will begin very shortly. I didn't see you. How long have you been standing there? Me? Well, I just got here. <laughs> or please, do carry on. Or don't mind me. Pretend I'm not even here. Well, <laughs> all right then. Bruh, I'm telling you, something's not quite right with Albi Albi. He's definitely got that Alan Rickman cheating vibe. Although I don't want to speak ill of Alan Rickman. Guy's a terrific actor. Uh, right, so we're going to grab the first red block then. And over to the right-hand side, next to these paintings, 
this is where the box is. So let's go do some stuff. It's, um, yeah, we have to do some musical instrumenting. So, yeah, job done. So go ahead, grab the next red block. And effectively, we're going to just put it down below. Or what you can do with one prism block is actually just turn it um, around so they can just bounce straight off the prism block and drop down. Either way, as long as you're hitting the drum, you are all good. But the drum, we need to move on to the xylophone. Or the xylophone for short. Um... So, yep, don't adjust this drum. They will land on the piano. And it's, uh, yeah, effectively, it's good, good, good. It's a good music-y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we will adjust this drum. And over into the corner, we're going to adjust that drum as well. So we can get it onto the old grandpappy clock. Now, again, remember when uh, you used to say daddy or granddaddy? It used to mean something. Oh, that's my dad. That's my granddad. And now, pornography has ruined it all. So, after um, Rose and Helen Simpson play the piano, uh, obviously make sure to adjust the path so they're going through to the balloon machine, which will go straight to the harp. A little bit of readjusting, maladjusting coming up there. So with the cannon, we are going to readjust this one first in order to hit the ladder to the left of us. There it is. That's going to hit the ladder. Don't know why a bunch of soldiers can't just push it over. Or, you know, our ghost self can't do that or whatever. But anyway, once you've done that, get the drum. We are going to place that uh, as far as we can, just towards the cannon. Eventually, we will make it. Eventually, there we go. So once it is, hit the cannon, you should be good to go. Um, we are going to grab, uh, sorry, we're going to grab a red block then. Uh, we are going to put this in the way of the drum. So obviously that is where your soldier should be. They shouldn't be dead. Again, always just make sure to check if any are dead. Again, remember this is, there will be a sad face on the screen. Um, with your crushed soldier on the floor if one has been deceased. So basically, now with uh, when we climb up the ladder, we need to get another red block, place it vertically so they can head over said book. 
And then we are going to finally get the third and last thing going. So just leave and drop. And that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, we like it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, so this is the first level where we can find one of the chicken butts to kick. Um, of course, I will actually come up with another video with just the chicken collectibles, as I couldn't find anything online at all. So I'll help you out there. But anyway, first of all, uh, readjust the cannon so it hits the airship. And then, of course, what you're going to do is place one of the prism blocks by it so it will hit the cannon and that will hit the old air shipperoni um and then it's effectively there's nothing else to do apart from watch a long cutscene with the uh, little daughter of rosness regis Gertrude's log, day 34. My latest adventure has led me to the mysterious ruins of an ancient temple. I wonder what exciting new discoveries I shall make here. Oh no, here comes those boring old soldiers again. Always marching, marching, marching. On and on and on. Mr. Soldier! Where are you marching to this time? Hello? I'm talking to you, sir. Yes, you. The one with the hat. Don't pretend you can't hear me. I'm really sorry, Miss Gertrude. No time to stop. I'm on an important mission. What important mission? Oh, just quit your marching and come join me. We shall explore the world together. What do you say? Sorry, Miss Gertrude. I must march on. Hmm. <sighs> what nerve. Would you look at that, Mr. Mooch? Oh, I know what it is, Mr. Mooch. It must be the silly thing on his back, always twisting and turning and grinding our little soldier down. Let me just... Wait, what are you doing? Put me down. You can't. No, I need that. Now, now, sit still, Mr. Soldier. This will only take a second. All done. So, how does that feel? Oh no! What have you done? How does it feel? It feels... It feels wonderful, actually. Look at me! So nimble, so flexible. Yay! Hop, hop, hop! You see? Now you're finally free to go on all sorts of adventures with me. Just like it was meant to be. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> so during this festive season uh, this is basically this has got to be the developers of way of saying die hard is a christmas movie 
our soldier turns into John McClane, old Bruce Willisy boy. So basically then, this is, uh, so effectively in most levels, you can get a free thinking soldier called Mr. Soldier. So anytime you go past one of these palaces or anything, uh, he basically turns into, yeah, an independent soldier. He can do what he wants. We can move how he wants because we don't have anything sticking in our back. Great. And it's only with these um, independent things, these independent soldiers, these Mr. Soldiers, where you can um, get the chicken butts kicked. Right, so let's go get some chicken butts, boys. First of all, don't fall. <laughs> of course, if you fall, remember, you've always got the rewind function. So rewind that, we're going to jump up onto the to the teal book. I'll slide that one down. We're going to climb down the ladder. And there we go. And then we are going to jump over to the table, jump up and push this big red bow down. Right, so if you press the Y button, you can stop controlling Mr. Soldier. If you want to possess him again, just go ahead and press the X button. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do then, our soldiers, our wind-up soldiers, who are just chilling around, we're going to get the red blocks, which we found uh, at the very beginning. We're now going to need to make a route. So obviously the first one we're going to do, let's, so let's just get the soldiers out of the way there first. So we will put them up to the right onto the bed, and then to the left, and then to the right on the drum. So don't actually get them on the drum yet. We are going to uh, place the prism block, the red block. There's the chicken there on the left, which again, we will get with um, Bruce Willis. Oh, I'll just keep calling him McLean, isn't it? It's easier. Uh, so put the red block here to the right. Make sure it's going over to the rulers. And then what you need to do then is obviously just put your final block over to the uh, left so it's pointing towards the exit door now obviously it doesn't matter so basically when you get these soldiers through um the level of the next door will open but don't take that as a sign that the level's completely finished remember we need to get um john mclean through the door as well so don't just follow the door out we need to get do a couple more things first <laughs> Straight into bed, Poppet. <laughs> Mummy, can I tell you a secret? You can tell me anything, my darling. You know that. I think Daddy's making a special toy just for me. Mm, is he now? Well, aren't you a lucky little girl? Yes, I've seen it inside his workshop. He keeps it covered, but I think I know what it is. Hmm. If he keeps it covered, he probably wants it to be a surprise. So, what if we keep this secret between us girls for now? Good idea, Mummy. After all, everybody loves a good surprise. <laughs> That's right, dear. Good night, little angel.
No, I'm sorry, but you can't blame me for thinking that, uh, you know, old Albert was doing a cheeky, cheeky bit of cheating there. It's just so dodgy, first of all. But as it turns out, probably not. Anyway, so obviously we need to get the chicken butt kicked first, our first one, to get another achievement. And um, we need to get him through as well. So off we go. Before heading to the right, jump over to the left. Press the X button behind L, chicken. Chicken boy! Bruce Willis, chicken boy. Friends, yes. We all know. We do know that one. Um, but once you have kicked him... Now, again... Sorry, it did take a while. There was a bit of an edit there. It took a while to um, appear the achievement. Now, as I said earlier, with the chicken one, as we get through to the door, as soon as you have kicked the chicken and the... Um, gramophone there is in the top right hand corner that's been collected so even if you restart the level even if you rewind whatever you do that's been collected so don't worry if you mess up or do something or other anyway follow the uh, willow of wisp and to the next rebel level level Right then, so what we're going to do first then, we are going to move this drum so that the box of soldiers is to the left. What we're going to do first though is put the um, drum over to the right. Uh, effectively, we are going to be just heading towards the balloon machine right at the end in order to uh, move some cannoning. So what we're going to do, we're going to move this cannon. Might have to toggle the view there with the Y button. Or if not, it doesn't matter because we can just hit the airship. So the airship will be smashed down. Then once we do that, then we can go ahead and open up the box. Sorry, the box wasn't to the left of us. It was on the box of presents. So get that one hitting over onto the cannon. And your soldiers should be fine, just fine. So with the other drum now, what we're going to do, uh, the, the beginning drum even, we're now going to put it over to the right-hand side of the table because there is a, another cannon that we need to uh, smash down. And then with that cannon, there's basically a present. There's an upright present, which is on the pile of presents. Uh, so as we just get through this bit. So that's what we're going to aim for then. There we go. So this cannon, we are going to put it to the cannon straight in front of us. And there is the upright present that we need to unpresent. Surprise, Mother Flubber. Some fries, Mother Flubber. Uh, but we do have the prism, the red prism block, which we can simply go ahead, put it towards the exit door, uh, sort of have it aiming towards the book, so they'll just bounce off the book, through to the exit, and it's job done. And once we are done in here, we're, we'll exit the room, follow the wispy willow whisper, chocolate bar whisper.
Oh, I forgot to mention, there was another letter. Was it them again? No sender on the envelope, but there's no mistaking their seal. <sighs> I'm not sure why they keep insisting. I've told them I'm not interested. <laughs> well, try not to burn any bridges, dear. By the way, your little side project... Hmm? The dollhouse for Rose. Oh, yes. What about it? She's seen it, you know. She keeps asking me about it. I thought you were going to finish it for her birthday this year. Oh, I know, I know. That was the plan, but it's not ready yet. Not ready? <laughs> How long have you been working on it? <sighs> long enough. But it's just not done yet. It has to be perfect, Helen. The perfect birthday present for the perfect little girl. Well, if you're going to let her meander in your workshop, maybe you should move it somewhere else while you finish it. Or it won't be a surprise at all. That's a good point, actually. Yes, I'll move it in the morning. Perhaps in the study. She rarely ever goes in there. <sighs> good night, my love. Good night. Okay, are we ready for the first real long level in the game? Yes, we are. So, uh, well, there's nothing but to do but push forward. Go forwards. It's 2024 now. No reason to look back. Screw the past. Right, so first of all, we'll head to the left next to this greenhouse looking house where the box is. There is <laughs> there's a lot going on, so we'll try and keep it nice. Nice and let's get you through it. Okay, so we'll just go to the left first. It's basically a default path, so no bother, no worries with that. Um, so we are just going to uh, adjust the drum. Should be straight in the middle of the chessboard there. And effectively then what we're doing, we're going to move the cannon. We are going to hit the train, get that one out of the way. So with the drum, sorry, we need to be aiming towards the cannon first of all. Maybe if I... Uh, <laughs> no. There! No, no, no. Uh, can I just... Uh, take that back? That's quite um, alright. Let me think. Take your time. Take your time. This is too hard. <laughs> Once this little scene is finished then uh, you can go ahead and put the drum in the middle if you want but it makes no difference uh, but what we're going to do is grab the triangle so we're going to make a triangle uh, we're going to grab a triangle button we're going to put it on the chair right next to the T um, block so that will basically put the uh, drums down uh, the soldiers down onto the drums which will go straight to the balloon machine so yes, moving the drum was necessary, sorry. Um, but before we go ahead and do that, uh, obviously make sure that all your uh, soldiers are off the drum. 
and it's pretty much straightforward. Just watch the cutscene here with Big Albert. And make sure to move this drum up to the top shelf in order to get to the next bloom machine. And... and that hammer, please. Uh, hammer? Uh, what's this? <laughs> you cheeky... Come here, you. Okay, so next up then, we've got to move these uh, trains and drums uh, effectively in order to just get them, obviously, to the other side. This is definitely a case of why did the chicken cross the road? Because it wanted to die for our sins and wanted to be turned into KFC. Why, of course. Uh, now, there's obviously a couple of ways to do this. Just make sure that you've got the trains in a specific order and that the drums... Uh, that you can reach the other side of the drums. Again, obviously we're heading straight towards the uh, gazebo looking thing there. So, in the actual gazebo itself, we're going to get a green triangle piece. So, grab the triangle and then obviously you're going to place that one to the left. So, redirect them to the blue machine and into Z gazebo itself. And then again, we're going to do some readjusting of a cannon and a drum in just a mo. And then what we need to do is grab a Mr. Moon block and a U-shaped block. So what we're going to do is kind of do, again, sort of at this point for a minute, just like a little loop-de-loop -loop so that the cannon um, is going to hit the little piece of wood there, which is on the easel.
Sorry about that, children. I don't know why I got utterly confused with that one. All you had to do was place the moon block back. Um, so what we'll do now is grab a T piece. So a T puzzle piece there, and we are going to obviously place it to the one directly in front of us. That'll put it to the left. And then if we have a look, uh, turn back, grab a the triangle piece, we'll put that back on the block, which will put us up over to the paintbrush and into the flowers. Right, so now we have the ability then to manipulate uh, pinwheels, which gets us all blown about the end, or blown about the way. It's good, it's nice, it uh, makes it breezy on such a hard day. So, the first one, of course, what we're going to do then is manipulate the pinwheels in order to um, effectively get back to the starting area, more or less. 17. 17. Yeah, 19. I wish I was 19. I'm 33 and I feel about 73. So with the pinwheel then, we will put this one, if we have a look to the right, there is the first pinwheel, but we're going to uh, put it to the right because we need to adjust this pinwheel uh, and put that one to the right as well. You'll never find me, Daddy. <laughs> Who said that? Hmm. That sounded like that young miss I am looking for. Also, who is this daddy person? I am not daddy. I am the big bad. And then with this pinwheel, we'll put it directly in front of us, just past the picnic basket there. And we will put that... Uh, excuse me, kids. Get out of my way. And then with this next pinwheel, we will put that over to the left. So after you've done all this again, just make sure you have a little readjustment uh, to make sure that your balloon guys are actually floating in the wind. Albert, you're about as unfit as the unfittest person I'll ever see. And then with this pinwheel, we can adjust it and put it right effectively back to the starting area once again. What is it? Nothing. I love you. But once that's done, uh, head back to the gazebo, grab a, another T-block, and we'll put that at the end of the bench so the um, path can begin. Uh, so again, just have a quick look at the pinwheels as well. Make sure that you've set them on the right course, um, and make sure that you've still got all of your soldiers. Again, you will see if any have died, um, because you get the sad face on screen. And as you can see, if they're just on the floor, take no good either. Um, so again, if you need to, just readjust your pinwheels until they're all looking golden as nuggety nuts. Trying. So we're back on the beginning path, but this time we can manipulate the pinwheels, the one which are in the white and red flowers. So we will uh, we will pop this one right over the top in order to get to where the palace is. There it is. So eventually, thank you very much. But make sure to put it over to the right hand side. Okay, so we need to put that at the right hand side. And now we will obviously be able to put a block down as well. 
In fact, no, we don't need to put a block down. But remember, this is the first, uh, this is where Mr. Soldier will appear. So we got a bit of free thinking and we are going to kick another trick in ours. Where are they all coming from? Although, didn't that chap over there march past once already? Hmm. Now, don't worry about the other soldiers. They are good. They uh, they won't fall or anything, so don't worry about that. But what we're going to do, again, remember to press the Y button in order to get to yourself. Uh, manipulate the drum so it points, the, the drum on the left, so it points towards the one at the back. Then we're going to jump as Bruce McLean. We're going to grab a balloon. Uh, so now, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get the chicken. So what we need to do from here is just go straight in front of you and aim for the chair. So the chair that is directly in front of you, you should be fine there. Next, you can jump on the drum in order to get up. And then to the... Uh, to the right of the balloon machine, if we drop down, this is where the chicken's going to be. Now, I'd already collected the chicken and restarted the level, but again, as I said, every time you collect the chicken or do anything like that and the save appears in the corner, that means you have collected it and it's all good. So once you've done that, then you can just go ahead and rewind once you kick the chicken butt. That'll be number two, I believe. Yeah. Um... So now we should be good. So now we can just go straight ahead when we got to the balloon machine and we are over to the other side. So again, this is just a, it's, it's a pretty straightforward path now, but we have to again do some manipulations, some manipulating. So the first of all, we are going to use the pinwheel and we're gonna pop that over to the right hand side, right where the cannon is, smash that over there. And then with this cannon, we are going to face it towards the cannon straight in front of us. It ain't cannon, but it is cannon. And then with the next cannon, we're going to turn it to the right. And we're going to hit the birdhouse in order to shoo off the boyd. Shoo boyd. So, grab a balloon, pinwheel your way over, hit the cannons, and scare a bird like you've never been crapped on by a bird before. Okay, so then, we need to be moving forward now, so we're going to adjust that same pinwheel. We're going to put it directly in front of us in order to hit the next drum. And then with that same drum, um, we are going to adjust that as well in order to get up to the next flower bed to get past the old Schneidenhausen, or the old birdhouse for short. So grab another balloon, go directly uh, to the right of us. Psh in fact, the drum should actually be okay. Because that'll put us over to the this flower bed. So then just do a little bit of platforming and continue heading right.
So once you've gotten past uh, the sort of uh, straight and narrow path here, you see the cannon. Do not hit the cannon just yet. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to let go of the free soldier, of course. We're going to manipulate this cannon to put it at the pipe just to the right of us. This is actually going to stop the windmill. So once you've hit, um, aimed it at the pipe, get Bruce McLean right there. Smash it down. The windmill's going to be like, Hey, hey, you sound me. Uh, etc, etc. Right. So finally, we're almost done with this level then. So our goal now, what we've got to do is get the remaining soldiers back. So jump off the drone. You can now stay here as John Willis. Oh, what you talking about, Willis? And then all we got to do then is, if you remember the pinwheels from the red and white flowers and everything, that's all we got to do is just reverse them. So the pinwheel in the barrow, we're going to reverse the pinwheel in the red and white flowers we're going to reverse and just have the next pinwheel aiming towards the start level again, of course. But in order to get the soldiers moving, walking, talking, we need to grab a T-block. Uh, just get your soldiers out of the way, so obviously uh, none of them are going in a random direction. And then you just make life hard for yourself. Uh, like that, apparently. <laughs> or just rewind it a little bit, whatever. But as long as the T is there, um, we can... Yeah, we can go ahead and do it. So let's do it. So obviously, so what we're going to do, we're going to drop down. So the pinwheel should put us straight ahead. And then you should have everything readjusted with the pinwheel. And that will be enough to get us straight through. And finally, the garden one is completeness. Rose, Albert, come back in now. Look, there's a storm coming. So it is. Come, Rose. Quick, quick. That's it. Back inside, you two. Watch this now. Chickski ain't even drinking a brew. Look at that. Admit, there is nothing in there. There's the, this illness is getting to your head. Uh, look. Bruh, what are you sipping? There is nothing in there. Now let me read. Let me read the devastating news, please. Not that I'm just after the devastating news, of course, but uh, yeah, if you're drinking an empty cup, chances are there's something wrong with your brain. Now. Come here, let me peek.
Rose. Yes, Mummy. Can you please come down here? Oh no! What happened? <sighs> Clumsy mummy, I suppose. I knocked it over by accident. Look though, at least I found that toy you were missing. I wonder who could have put it there. <laughs> I forgot I used to do that when I was little. <laughs> Can you help me clean up this mess, please? Of course. I shall go and fetch a broom. Okay, so let's start this proper then. So you can open up the uh, toy box, it's fine, because they're basically going to come into the table onto the default path. Um, we're going to place some puzzle blocks um, right in the middle of this table, so basically the soldiers will walk in an endless loop just after we get the free soldier. So just wait for a momento, un momento, por favor. <laughs> Silly girl. Right, okay, so with that one done, and we've got the free thinking broski going, we're going to place a T down directly in front of us, a U down just um, at the top, and that is Murder She Wrote for the time. It's not that way, actually. So remember, for some reason, this just absolutely just destroyed me. You can put the U that way, because they'll either just go back and forth, which is fine, or the U, if you wanted to be facing to the right remember to flip it horizontally by pressing up on the d-pad and then rotating it with the right or left somehow i forgot that in this level so anyway whichever way you've done it um put them in an endless loop and then what we can do is go straight in front of us off the chair drop down climb onto the ladder and we're going to get onto the airship as well now this part was a hell of a bug and it took me a, a few minutes in order to sort it out, but we can uh, get out of this one again There is another chicken in this level of course um, So what we'll do now is we will adjust the cannon in order to hit the airship directly in front of us We can also place a yellow block if needed. It was on the floor near the broken valve and we can place it just after the uh, palace so, yep, just to the right of the palace there, we can place this one down. For some reason, it's a bit weird. It doesn't always work. If it doesn't always work, no bother. You can just grab the other T and uh, place this one down. But again, we need it to be facing down so it hits the fork and continues hitting the uh, fruit bowl to hit the cannon. So this is where I was having a few problems in terms of little bugs. Um, I, uh, <laughs> for whatever reason, the game decided to just, just get me stuck. Um, so the only way that I sort of got rid of this was I kept rewinding and fast forwarding while jumping. That seemed to be the only way in order to get me unstuck, <laughs> as it were. That's how good McLean is. He uh, he gets there before airships. Right, so with the balloon machine, we're just going to go straight in front of us onto the green settee. Now, before you progress to the right, make sure to climb up the pillows, which are straight in front of us, and grab the chicken, which is just behind this part of the settee, or the sofa, or the freedom seat. Bark, bark. Oh, yeah. So that is another one completely done. So again, we can just go ahead and rewind. Like I said, the chickens will be done. Uh, there's no way you can't unmiss it now. 
So now we can go to the opposite end of the sofa, the freedom seti. And if you don't mind getting stuck, eh, jump up onto the arm. And uh, we're going to be needing to do some adjusting of the drums. So with the drum right in front of us, we're going to put that onto the table. Uh, so it's aiming towards the sort of left of the cannon. And then once you have done that, we can go ahead. We can put uh, McLean on there, and I will adjust the cannon in or the cannon to aim at the higher, the higher upper air ship. That's what I'm trying to say. Here. So now, as the free soldier, again press the X button, go straight back inside. Bruce Willis, how many people would like that? Um, and then hit that one. That's going to get the airship down. And once again, in the balloon machine, we're going to go straight forward and into the China camera. You will have to jump, of course, so we can get to the China cabinet. China. The old Trumpy cabinet. China. Everything's China's fault. Uh, right, so the toy train we've got right in front of us, we're going to move it in front of the uh, China cabinet. And we will adjust the drums so it's going to aim at the blue bars right in the middle of said China cabinet. Right, so hopefully you've got all that one done. That worked full time, like first time, sorry. So now we get the green triangle puzzle block. We will put that just where the drum is. And then effectively what we can do is, well, we can just go ahead and finish this now. So um, we obviously need to get them bouncing off the T. Remember with the U, just go ahead and press up on the D-pad in order to turn it horizontally. Get another T shape to hit the triangle. And um, again, just make sure that they're hitting the drum and heading straight for the exit. And of course, remember to get Mr. McLean in as well. So that'll be six out of six. And on to level 25. So, who wants to do some setting up paths and stuff? Me, 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 me. All right, so let's do it. So, over by the yellow lamp is where the box o Laxo rancho is. Uh, so, yeah, let's get some stuff going. So, what we're going to do, we're going to place three puzzle, puzzle blocks in the area just below the box. So, we are going to get a T. 
Um, we'll obviously have that pointing towards the... Um, well, if you flip it over, we're going to have it um, pointing towards... Yeah, you know, top left, if you so wish. Uh, then we are going to grab a U piece. We're going to put that one so it's aiming towards the triangle piece. And then the triangle piece so that it is aiming towards the train straight in front of us. So we need a chicken and we're going to get another miscellaneous achievement here. So first things first, uh, we, I have just gone the wrong way. There is a bin directly off where the U shape is. So <laughs> let's try that again. So actually jump into the bin to get the achievement get in bin. There it is. Lovely stuff. And then what we could do, we'll hop off the table onto the drum after we've done that onto the table uh, into the next table. Then we're going to interact with the ball and paddle. That'll get the musical bro going. So turn around, we're going to go into the balloon machine and then we're going to jump onto the piano's key case. Uh, so just before heading into this next balloon machine, we're going to get some add just ins. So a couple of pinwheels. The first one is directly in front of us by the piano. So we're going to aim that at the second pinwheel, which is right in front of us, just next to the harp. So once you've done that one, obviously we're going to try and get it to the um, to the left because this second uh, pin we're going to put upwards towards the grandpappy clock. So send old Brucey through, and uh, we're going to end up on top of his grandfather. That's a weird way to look at that one, but there we go. So uh, make sure to kick the uh, toy chicken. So there's the next one. Boosh! Straight in the old button bags. The old beanie, as it were. So now we can drop down the grandfather clock onto the shelf just below with the balloon machine on it. So literally just below where we are. And then we're going to get a balloon, but we're not going to jump yet because we need to do some more adjusting of the pinwheels. So the pinwheel that is just underneath, um, we are going to aim this one just underneath us between the two armchairs, the table between the two chairs. And then jump free, Brucey. Jump free, Willis. So we're going to go to the right hand side chair and then go through to jump on the drum, which will be just underneath it. There it is. This is going to land us on one of the one of those pieces that has mantles on it. Yes, a mantle piece. How did you know? Uh, so we're going to go up the books a couple of times. We're going to reach yet another cannon from Shannon. Not like that. We ain't. 
Um, but we are basically going to adjust this cannon. We're going to aim it for the harp. And uh, then, of course, we're going to press the button as Will C. Willis himself. And, you know, it's going to be all like ding, dong, ding. Right, now, as, um, as John McLean, now we're just basically going to go back um, through the books, and we are effectively now going to go all across the shelves towards the level's exit, which is still currently blocked, but continue on forward anyway. Um, when we get to the final shelf here, we're going to drop down onto the accordion below, the old academia, not that one, but the next shelf. Uh, that's basically going to trigger the soldier again, and it'll unblock the exit. So, Albie might not be doing a Alan Rickman, Emma Thompson affair thing after all. She does not sound good, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to grab this T-block. We are now going to turn it... Huh, well, what are we going to do? Are we going to turn it around there? E yes, we are. Because that is going to go back up the rope. So, we'll just leave that T there. We're going to go back up the rope... We will then remove the moon. So we can just take the moon, Mr. Moon block back over. And then basically all we're going to do, all we're going to do then is adjust the drum over to the left hand. Oh, in fact, no, we don't because they've got a balloon machine. They pop over. We will need to get, uh, <laughs> as you can see, I almost forgot there. But we do need to grab the, um, oh, the Mr. Moon one, as it turns out. So grab Mr. Moon, put it to the exit, make sure to get um, Mc, 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 McBride in it, your free soldier, and then it's job done. So, on to level 26. Again, there's another chicken in this level. Plus, plus... There's another miscellaneous achievement we're going to grab as well. So, Toy Soldier Box is basically on our left as we just entered the room. But first of all, we're going to um, just set up, once again, a little path. So, we're going to grab the T block. And we're just going to put it down so it is facing down towards the drum. We are then going to adjust the pinwheel uh, to put it on, not on the table in front of us, but just the uh, the sort of chest of draw things just at the end of the bed. That is where the palace is at. The palace, not the police, sorry. And next, we're going to grab a U piece, put it just after the palace, so that it is... Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that, but... Like I said, effectively, as we have a look at this cannon, shoot it up at the airship, effectively, what we're doing is just trying to get the soldiers to basically stay in that one spot in the palace for the time being. So it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you can do it good. So get the soldiers going. They're going to do the... Um, the path of life. So once we've done that then, we can now go ahead and take control of Brucey himself. 
And I call him Bruce because, you know, Bruce Willis is going through a ridiculously horrible time at the minute. So out of respect, he's not a character. He's a goddamn awesome human being. Right, so what we need to do from here then, we need to head over to the next airship. Make sure to stand behind the steering wheel. Very important, this is for a miscellaneous achievement. There are other levels you can get this in, but it's better to do it now. So make sure to stand directly behind the wheel. Grab the pin and then just post it forward and that'll get you the Ahoy Me Hurties achievement. And with the other pinwheel, we will push that forward a little bit as well. Now, like I said, the reason that we put the U shape um, on that table there is because otherwise we'd have to act very fast and it might get a little bit pressury. So we've just done it so they are just chilling by there while we go ahead and do our things. So once we've blown over, we're going to nip on here. We're going to push all four sandbags off. Look at him. Watch now. He's uh, just... God damn, Bruce Willis. You're so goddamn key. So once that's done, we're going to go into the balloon machine and then we're going to take a leap of faith straight for the book ahead of us. We're going to uh, go to the left first um, because there is a chicken on the bottom shelf. So, uh, yeah, there's a way to do it. That's not the way. Uh, your best bet is to probably get on the middle shelf and just um, try and uh, pop yourself down. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Again, it's a little bit of trial and error as it is with puzzle games, but there we go. Once we're on it, make sure to kick the chicken square in the old rectomos. And uh, yeah, that's another one done. Right. So what we're going to do then, we are now going to obviously rewind. So rewind, rewind. Get our balloon all the way. There we go. So we are now at the other side. And it'll be the same thing here then. So what we'll do, grab another balloon. This time we're going to jump directly straight forward and we are going to end up on the top shelf. You should have already adjusted the cannon to hit the airship. So slap it, smack it, hit it in the butt. Ignore that one. Um, Right, now we can actually free the soldiers. They've just been going back and forth. So what we're going to do is put the U-shape where it was intended on the left-hand side uh, piece. Then we are going to grab the triangle. And we're going to put this down just there. So they're uh, going off to the left. They should hit the teddy bear. And then effectively, it's pretty much just a straightforward finish for them now. Bedtime, Rosie. Just one moment, Daddy. What are you drawing there, Poppet? Look, it's a little action scene starring your toys. What do you think? Oh, uh, <laughs> gosh, that's, well, that's really impressive, actually. Why, thank you, kind sir. The little artist in you has really started to blossom, hasn't she? You shall be out doing mummy soon enough. <laughs> I wish. Daddy? 
Is Mummy all right? She seems so sad all the time lately. Yes, dear. Mummy is fine. Don't worry, Rosie. Everything will be fine. Daddy will take care of it. I promise. Good night, Angel. Okay, I know it's always a tough conversation, but just be like, uh, Your mama's dying, damn it! Your mama's dying! It's because we're so super posh! That's obviously not the reason. Uh, but anyway, uh, let us get Bruce Willis through. We are not going to be doing that. We'll just drop onto the lowered airship's balloon. And then we can turn around onto the shelf and make it another six out of six. Get through it wonderfully now. So welcome to level 27, getting ever closer, but uh, yeah, this is quite the simple level, uh, level, sorry. So what we're going to do first then, we're going to adjust the uh, drum, so we're obviously going to get the um, our broskies and moskies on there. Um, now we basically just have to arrange some blocks in a certain way, so... Uh, yeah, first one then is the triangle. And we're going to pop that one right there. And then we're going to get the T that's going to go next to said triangle. There we go, just there. So to the left of the triangle, we're going to pop that one down so it's hitting to the right. And then just follow along with the other ones, just putting them in an obvious U-loop direction. So once you set up the blocks then, we are going to have the first cannon here point to the second cannon. And then the second cannon, which we just shot at, or which we will about to shoot at, we're going to have that set to the next cannon. So which will be directly in front of us. And then that third cannon, we're going to point that to the target uh, with the jack in the box. Or jack in the box for longer. So basically doing it this way, the jack-in-the-box will face the books rather than the soldiers, basically getting us um, basically getting us past. So all you've got to do now is adjust the drum to go straight for the exit. And again, adjust the first drum here just so that your soldiers will bounce off the <laughs> exactly the way I've not done it there. Uh, just so they will bounce off the drum, hitting the left-hand side T or the right hand side moon, whichever one it is. And then it's a simple, fun ride the exit. Dear Mr. Butterworth, as per your request, we at the clinic have been making inquiries within the local medical community. However, as I had feared, this process has been far from fruitful. Most of my colleagues are of the opinion that there is little that can be done for Mrs. Butterworth at this point. I have consulted my old friend, Professor Rotham, and discussed the matter at length. So far, he's been the only one to offer a faint glimmer of hope. He spoke of an experimental treatment that was recently trialed on the continent. Please visit my office at your earliest convenience, so that I can brief you in more detail, but please do manage your expectations. Dr. Rotham referred to the cost of this treatment as astronomical and emphasize that the ratio of success is extremely low. However, you have made it clear in our conversation that you are determined to try anything, which is why I thought it worthwhile to bring this development to your attention. Kind regards, Dr. Oliver Knowles. What's wrong, my dear? Scared, Albert. Why is this happening? 
What are we going to do? Shh, shh. I don't want you to worry. I'll take care of it. I promise. I have a plan. How can you take care of this, Albert? This isn't something you can fix. I'm not one of your broken toys. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I know you want to help. I know, dear. Don't worry. I want you to trust me. It will be fine. I do trust you, Albert. You get some rest now. All will be well. You'll see. Right, so we're off downstairs this time. That last level there was just a cutscene, so we're on to level 29 now. So as you go downstairs, you're going to see everything is right here. And there is a chicken in this one, so that's all good. Let's, uh, straight in. <laughs> Haven't we all after a bad KFC? Which is how I'm feeling today, actually. The 3rd of January, my sister's birthday. Sorry, sister, I've, um, I've got... Bad guts on your birthday. Anyway, that's a story for another time. I'll message her. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. So the first thing we're going to do then is, like I said, put that red block um, just in the middle of the balloon machine first. Um, now, remember, we are going to have to get a chicken, which is where Albert was by the front door. But first of all, we need to get, well, we need to get the free soldier going. So once they've ballooned over... Um, Again, make sure you put the red block the same way that I have, so they'll just go down into the boxes and, you know, just chill out there for five. Okay, so first things first, rather than going left and progressing with the story, let us drop down and climb up the ladder. We're going to have to take a few red blocks, you know, like the ones right there. Uh, but we'll get a balloon first and then, well, I did actually try to be super cheeky with it and just try and jump on the drum or just try and jump onto the other crate. But as it turned out, it didn't work. So you're actually going to need to climb up. There's going to be a ladder and another box on the left. And then we're going to have to fly a balloon over that way. So there we go then, drop down to the left, you can see him just chilling in a corner, this way, this was a very easily missed one, because uh, you kind of expect him to be on the main path, but not, so there we go, right, so let's carry on now, so we can adjust the drum in order to get back to our starting position, so let's do that. So we're going to get it uh, as ourselves. We're going to adjust the cannon. Now, if you point the cannon up, you can see uh, a little toy that we're just going to smash into. So get uh, Brucey's nut on that. Oh, look at it. Beautiful. That'll get up a ladder. That's going to erect incredibly fast. Uh, so just um, if you climb up the erect ladder... Uh, 
And when we get to the balloon machine, chill out for a couple of seconds, brother, because we are going to adjust the drum. We're going to pop that over to the other balloon machine, so basically to the other side. We've also got a couple of can more cannons to adjust, but let's. Uh, we're going to climb over first. We ow! Straight on the ouchie. So we're going to climb up the paint cans. Uh, we're going to adjust the drum once again. That's going to pop us onto the other drum. Pop us up, and then we're going to adjust the cannon in order to get rid of a saw. Obviously, make sure to push the button as well, which I tend to forget to do. Um, but that's fine. Obviously, we can just do it in a little bit. So we're going to grab one of the red blocks. Now we are going to uh, obviously get the next bunch of soldiers coming over. So obviously, what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to place the red blocks in such a way that they're going to climb up the, um, up the ladder. Now make sure to adjust uh, the next couple of pinwheels as well. Uh, we're going to need it to go where we don't want it to go next time. So um, pop it to the right of the next peel, uh, pinwheel directly in front of us. And then of course with this next pinwheel, we are going to send basically the soldiers onto quite the high shelf. Um, again, you might have to do some precise aiming in order to get them through the cheeky little balloon machine. And then with this drum, just put it to the left. You can't really get to the other crate. You're going to have to put it to the left, so they're going to go through the next balloon machine. Remember, as the free soldier, make sure to hit the cannon so it gets rid of the saw. Otherwise, you can just chill out for barely any seconds.
there we go so that's five done and now to get the sixth one let's just get big brucey boy the same way so dropping down to the paint cans getting the balloon over following the path and hurrah So that's it as well for Act 2, so providing you've got all the soldiers through um, in each level, you would have got the full house achievement. And we head down and we're going to start Act 3 into the basement. Now, these levels are generally not too bad. Personally, level 43 and 44 were an absolute mind bullet, a mind... Well, I want to say it, but I can't. Anyway, it messed my mind incredibly, so hopefully the way I've done it will make it a bit easier for you so you're not losing your absolute chicken head. So, welcome to Act 3 anyway. Uh, level 30 begins, and obviously we've got quite a lot to get used to now. So, the big machine right in the middle, that's what we're going to have a look at. So, we're going to arrange a path first of all in order to get said soldiers to said machine. So first of all then, just to the right of the exit there, you can see like this little uh, exhibition thing. So we're going to pick up the red blocks all from the tray, and then we are just going to basically put them in a path so they end up on the drum. There. And then with the drum, make sure then that you are aiming for one of the corners. So basically with those corners, all four will eventually hit all four buttons and the machine shall raise. Although I don't know why, just as a ghost, we can't just, you know, although I suppose we'll just go through it. Nah, I don't know. Anyway, obviously make sure that the path is all good. You're getting on the drum. All four button gets pushed in. Machine raises up. Everybody are happy now. Welcome to level two, you hear? You hear a uh, stage two? Yes, you hear right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and find the drum. Not this drum. Uh, there's going to be another drum. Uh, just, so, just so you can sort of see what I'm doing, uh, just to make it a bit easier. There's a table in front of us as well. So what we're going to do now is grab the next red block. And then what we're going to do, where that drum is, you're going to put it um, right there. So... There we go. So with that corner, then it'll jump off the drum. And uh, as we grab a another one. There we go. And then we will put that just on the top there as well. So it's sort of pointing again towards one of the corners. Um, again, if you want, it's probably easier to rewind. But make sure to put the drum and put it up to where we just found the next red block so obviously they're going to go around they're going to hit all the next four buttons and that's going to be stage three to do next Okay, so for stage three then, what we are going to do, 
uh, we are going to basically place the uh, prison, prison, the red blocks. So the first one is effectively going to be uh, sort of at the end of the bridge, if you want to call it that. And then the next one, here we go, just so we can put it off to the left, is basically buttons on each side, which we can easily get to via a ramp. So near bother, panic bother. So once the two buttons have been pushed on the one side, make sure to get the red block. We're going to use this as a ramp. So they'll go up and effectively go ahead and do the other two. So once both buttons have been pressed, um, yeah, so we're going to do this the side on the other side. It'll all be good. And then the final stage, stage four, will happen. Right, so once that is finally done, stage four is going to happen and then we're going to do some more drum adjusting. So the drum that is next to the table, what we're going to do, we are going to uh, use that. So we're going to put the drum over to the workbench table directly in front of us. Make sure again, of course, to put a red block down um, just in front or just by the drum there so our broskies can get onto it. Laying the foundations achievement will unlock as well. Um, probably what you're going to have to do is get another red block here, just to put them through the balloon machine too. No, not the balloon machine from a bathroom either. So before we send them over, let us adjust the pinwheel now here. So we are going to do it so it blows it uh, blows the soldiers to the steam exhaust there on the top of the machine. And then once that's done, your soldiers are going to go to the exit door and level 31 can be Gwyn. Again, not a chicken's rectum to worry about in this one, thankfully. Uh, stop talking about rectums. Okay, that one is done. I'll check that one off my list. Right. So what we can do then, we're going to open up the uh, toy soldier box and we can get them across the bridge. Then what we're going to do is place a red block just at the end of the bridge on the second platform that we're currently on. Um, and we're basically going to direct them to the right and towards the corner of the platform. Now, the reason we're doing this, and this is going to be a uh, forever mechanic from now to the rest of the game, is they are going to um, cross over treadmills, which basically redirects power. So eventually we're going to come up to uh, electronic points that we need to uh, get into um, and other things that need power, so like tunnels, etc., 
So we're going to, from now to the end of the game, it is a permanent, uh, basically a permanent mechanic. So once you have, so obviously as you'll be able to see here, once they cross the treadmill, the power will be directed to the left and the first bridge that we came over will detract and we can e-tract the second bridge. So what we need to do here then is we're going to turn the uh, red block around just to get us over the second bridge here to the left. And then once we get over here, what we're going to do is we're going to use another red block to get the soldiers or direct them towards the cannon on this third platform. There we go. So get them directing that way. Um, and of course, we need to adjust said cannon uh, so that it points towards the white arrow on the power hub. So the power hub will always be just above you. The white arrow it will always be the one that needs to be smashed in. So once you've got that set up, get your soldiers going. And that's going to redirect power from Platform 2 to Platform 3. And it'll get the third bridge going too. And again, just like the previous ones, get your red block going so that it points to the left in order to get the... Um, our little brown skis over to platform four. So once you've grabbed yet another red block, we are going to put it, um, so we're going to do it with the treadmill. So as you can see, it'll always tell you on the treadmill which way that you need to go in order to get the power working. So obviously we need to go directly over it to the right. So that's what we're going to do. Then the soldiers will hit the corner, and then we need another red block in order to get them to the exit. And, uh, yeah, decent. So, nice and easy once you get used to it, I, I think. Yeah, be fan. You're a bunch of intelligent beautifulnesses, right? Right. <laughs> Right here, chaps. So, a bit of a longer level once again as we get into level 32. So, have a look and grab the red blocks just to the right of us. And we are going to place them. Um, so, the soldiers here can cross the bridge. There's going to be one at the very end where the toy box is. And then another two uh, pointing towards this turnstile. As you can see, you need six to get through, which we have. So, we should be golden squares i.e. all good. So go ahead and grab, grab a, another red block. Basically what we're going to do, we're just going to put it uh, close to the bridge, into the corners, so they'll just bounce, bouncy off and forth. Uh, we do need them going over the treadmill as well. That's going to get power to the next bridge while getting rid of said previous bridge. And then we're going to grab another red block near the next bridge to get us onto the next platform.
Right, so when our soldiers get across the bridge, we are going to... Now, this starts getting a little bit trickier from this point on. Uh, but hopefully, I will shall not steer you wrong. Uh, we're going to place a red block along the soldier's path to get the soldiers getting towards the next bridge. Now, we need to wait for five soldiers exactly to get redirected to this next bridge. So make sure to count them. Five we need. So one, two, three, four, five. Once that fifth one is done, rotate the same block so the final soldier there is redirected to the brick wall. So there we go. So as long as you just got one on this platform, then we're all good. Now we will wait until basically the five soldiers have crossed the bridge. Um, and then we basically now have to get a couple of red blocks to trap the lonely soldier on his own. Of course, and of course, making sure that the um, soldier doesn't step on the treadmill. So go ahead, grab another red block. And from here, which what we're going to do is pop this just, oh, well, just past by the gears. The uh, soldiers will then get over the gears. Like I said, that should be fine. He's, he's stuck. He's not going to move anywhere. That's exactly what we need. Um, so now what we're going to do, now that we've got the other soldiers over, we are going to send our lone soldier through the treadmill um, to get the power redirected as well. And it's going to enable the bridge that our five soldiers are going to go over. So as you can see, the way it is is absolutely fine right now. Uh, timing might be a little bit off. For me, it worked fine just there, but it might be a little bit off. If that's the case, just rewind it and, you know, just... Uh, uh, a range uh, red block so you the, the, either one will get a bit quicker anyway so as long as none of your five soldiers have fallen you're all good so we are once again once he's over this the left side the treadmill we're going to trap him once more um so again just get a couple of red blocks and we need it to not fall off or walk on the treadmill again so it's effectively just making sure that the uh, yeah, just the two blocks um, make him all trapped and stuff. It is important that her treatment continues uninterrupted. I have instructed my assistant to follow up with you in private with regards to payment. As I assume, like last time, you will prefer to not discuss this matter in front of Mrs. Butterworth. Jesus, mate. Finally, we got there eventually. So, when the five soldiers have crossed the bridge, what we're going to do, we're going to get... We should have one more red block. Um, so, we need to put that one right after the bridge. As we need to now get the soldiers towards the cannon, which is on the book. So, grab the one, which we should have. Turn it to the left and get them going towards the book. There we go. So once we have done that, what we're going to do now is go back to the previous platform with the one lonely soldier. And then we are going to, again, <laughs> we're going to make this soldier take a tour of the platform that he's on, uh, again, in a specific way. Because, uh, of course, we need to get one red block off him. So what we're going to do is we are going to leave the one red block sort of here. So he's going towards the lamp. And then he's going towards the book and then going back. Again, yeah, it may take a little bit of trial and error there to get everything set up right. But once it is done, we can go and take this over to the other platform where our five soldiers are on. And we need to place this upright so we can smash L cannon. And then, of course, we're going to do some maladjusting, readjusting on the cannon. Now, obviously, what you can see what I've done wrong here is I put the soldiers too far over to the left side of the bridge. Um, which makes it a little bit more difficult. So I did uh, mess that up incredibly. So, <laughs> well, don't you know, 
don't try to do the same thing I just done there. Uh, but again, once you've got that right, we can then uh, adjust the cannons. Okay, sorry about that, but we finally have it, or I finally have it in place. So with the first cannon then, this cannon we're going to hit the cannon straight in front of us. And then with the cannon we just hit, hit it at the white arrow on the big power hub right above us, the right hand side one. There we go. So the bridge that we were on before will now be disabled. And the bridge right after the lone soldier's treadmill will also be disabled. So... Now, as the Lone Soldier, we can finally drop onto the drum below and go to the balloon machine on the uh, on the high shelf. So at the minute, we can just leave the Lone Soldiers as soon as we do that one. There we go. So as you can see, the bridge is gone. So let us now, as the Lone Soldier, get onto this drum. There's the balloon machine as well. So let's get on it. Yeah, sorry. Now, obviously, I would have done this level two, three times, but sometimes it's still... <laughs> there's a lot of puzzling going on, so it can... Uh, yeah. Still, things can get slightly difficult, especially towards these last levels. But what we're going to do then with this one, we're going to put this on the saw, so our soldiers can get redirected through the turnstile, which is going to be right in front of us again. So, just set that one up lovely. And then we're going to have to do a little bit of, well, there is no pinwheel, but there is steam coming out of the, of the thing. So what we need to do then is just get a red block just at the end so we can go through through the steam and over the other side. So there should be two red blocks, which, you don't, uh, which we're not using. So get this first one, chuck that one over, make sure that it is uh, direct, uh, directed below. Ta-da! And he's shooting over the other side. And then you can just get another red block. Now, obviously, you will make it because you will have the balloon. So don't panic about that. But then you need another red block to go through the gap. You'd all go through the turnstile and straight through to the exit. Now, sometimes as well. Sorry, just one more thing. With the timing differences, uh, the one lonely soldier may lag behind the others, which could cause the other ones to fall before the bridge is activated. Um, again, if that happens, use a couple of, you know, use a trapping method um, to delay the other soldiers for five. Like I said, I just about made that myself. But yeah, so if your soldiers fall, just use the trapping method for a sec couple of seconds or so. And it's job done. So that's level 32 done. And level 33 begins. We're back to chicken kickings in the licking sticking. Right, so. Soldier box. Soldier box in it. Oh, is right ahead of us. There it is. So what we're going to do then is simply um, don't do anything. Just go into the... Now, I'm just going to call this the hamster wheel. It's called a commutator. I'm going to call it a hamster wheel because it's easier to look at. This is another prominent feature throughout the rest of the game. We need 
always one soldier to be powering up by going through to the hamster wheel. Um, that's basically going to power up a bridge above which the free soldier will, will be able to use now. So once that one is done, we can place three red blocks um, in order to get our soldiers to the palace. So just set it up directly as I have. And, you know, Bob's your nan's uncle. So your soldiers here should be trapped, so there'll be no worries about that. But if you're feeling a little bit paranoid, um, you can just go ahead and stick it just in front of the turnstile uh, so they don't get through, because they do only need five. Um, so there we go, that's just what i done there. Again, it's easier just to trap them, just so they're not... Uh, just so they're not messing about, but uh, that should be fine, and you're not having to worry, of course. So, once that's done then, what we're going to do is take control of Brucey and go to the pile of paint cans and boxes. And now we're going to just jump up to the bridge that we managed to activate. And then, from here, basically, what we're going to do is just continue going straight. So, straight over the bridge, until we find a ruler which we can then jump onto the airship. So next up, we will adjust the cannon. There is going to be a cannon next to the pile of paint puke. And then we are going to interact that with the um, uh, the power hub just above. The power hub just above is what I'm trying to get at. As you can see, it's going about as well as my um, aiming abilities. There we go then. So we got that one. Right, so now what we can do then is we can remove the red block or we can put that over onto the next platform so it's directed to the cannon. God damn, that's a kick-ass airship! Woo! Right, so now we are going to move the red block so that our soldiers are going to be sent to the balloon machine here on the same platform. So we'll get them flooping over. Uh, that'll do. That's a word, right? Flooping. Right, time to adjust some drums. So, the one which is uh, next to all these bunch of boxes, we're going to put that, uh, we're going to move it so it's up onto the top box. Not the one on the cannon, because we can't quite reach, but the one just below that. 
And eventually we're gonna get there. Yeah, man. There we go. <laughs> God damn, we made it. And then we're going to adjust the next drum so that it sends our soldier up um, to the other drum, of course. Uh, so what we need to do is adjust the cannon now so it hits the jack of the box. Hit the jack of the box. And then all you got to do then as the free soldier here, yeah, as Brucey, jump onto the drums and hit said Shannon's cannons. Right, so next up, we are going to now place some red blocks to move around the jack-in-the-box and into said balloon machine. So grab them, what you can. And then, like I said, you need to do it again in such a way where our soldiers are going to go through the balloon machine. So obviously one just in front of the balloon machine. Um, now, obviously, they're going to be coming over from the left-hand side. So basically, one next to the jack-in-the-box, going down, going right up to the balloon machine. And then you need to place another red block just after it, so, yeah. So what we also need to do then is adjust this cannon right here with the airship. Now what that's going to do when we hit it as the soldiers are coming, that's going to lift up a box and get a pinwheel going so our soldiers can flip our through to the other side. Mr. Butterworth. Uh, so as you can see, the box is down so the pinwheel's not available just yet. So we need to go and hit that cannon and then the pinwheel will be available. Then we can get the red block and fly to the other side. I'm extremely pleased to see one of our newest and most esteemed members express an interest in getting more actively engaged with critical guild activities. But they also informed me that there are indeed such projects that would definitely benefit from contributions by a man of your talents. After hearing of your request, the Directorate tasked me with swiftly providing you with the attached partial plans of what is known within the Guild's research and development team as Bartleby's Marvelous Duplicator. As you know, Joseph Bartleby was one of the founding members of the Guild and regarded as a genius of toy making. Yet the duplicator was a concept he never quite managed to fully realize. We hope these plans and the additional funding we shall be providing will help you on your way to finishing what Mr. Bartleby started all those years ago. The Directorate has asked me to assure you that they are fully aware the duplicator is not strictly speaking so what you actually need to do with the pinwheel is put it over to the right hand side table, not the one with the airship on it, but the right hand side one. And then we're going to use a uh, red block here to put us over, or put the soldiers over into the turnstile machine. It's a turnstile.
And yes, of course, make sure to get a uh, red block there just to trap in the soldiers for now. So, as Mr. Willis, we're going to jump on the table with the actual jack-in-the-box on it. And effectively, all we're doing then is just following the same route as the previous soldiers. So, going through the blue machine, jumping on the pinwheel, and get onto the same table. So, you're going to kick a chicken rectum soon. So, what we're going to do, just go past uh, these soldiers right here. We're going to climb up the paint cans and boxes. Not like that, as it were. And we're going to go up the uh, ladder. Eventually, we're going to go up the ladder. And once we get up here, there's the ladder. Then we're going to go to the wooden shelf up ahead. There it is. So... Over to the wooden shelf. The chicken is right here on the book, so give them a little oosh in the old boosh nabs. There it is. Now what we need to do then is we need to actually drop down onto the paint cans directly below us. Look for a treadmill and walk along it. Here we go. Let's get some. Let's get some die hard treadmilling in. Oh yeah. Run that. Right, so that has activated a Bridge, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we are going to place a red block so that the soldiers are going to head across to the bridge and to the box. Wait. Wait. What am I doing? All oh, right, that makes sense. Yes, of course. So we need to. So before we get ahead of ourselves there, now let's get the soldiers over the bridge and into the chest. Ooh, more powers. I hope it's Austin. Right, so now we can mess around with some hamster wheels, which is toidy. Right, so before we uh, let the soldiers go, obviously what we're going to need to do now is activate the treadmill the other way, and this time get the bridge going. So, go ahead, get another red block, and that's going to pop these uh, four, at the very least. So, we're going to pop these four in, so they are safe and sound. So, now what we need to do is, uh, we need to cross the treadmill ourselves. Uh, so, basically, we need to get to the exit door. That's going to disable the previous bridge. So, again, sorry about that, I'm messing up right there. So, we need to cross over to the next platform, then find the treadmill... 
uh, which shouldn't be too far. There it is, directly in front of us. So we'll walk across this one. That's going to disable the previous bridge, and it will activate the next bridge near the hamster wheel. Once we nip on over to the other side, we will disable said hamster wheel simply by interacting with it. And that'll cause the soldier there to walk straight to the bridge ahead. And then just use your red block to get the one soldier in. And get Brucey Boy in to finish this level. T! So, level 34, you'd think we're coming quite close to the end, but we still have incredibly three hours left to do yet. So, well, let's do it. So, what we're going to do, we are going to arrange our red blocks so we can send the soldiers straight into the nearby turnstile, which is going to be a solid six. So, there it goes, right there. Uh, we'll just pop those in. And then after this, what we're going to do is add another red block to send these soldiers into the palace on the same table here. Let's get our Brucey boy out. Get your Bruce out for the lads. So again, we are just going to uh, get our uh, red blocks going so we can trap these broskies and moskies. So once that is done, and you have no fear that your soldiers will perish an uncomfortable death, we can then take control of Brucey, and we are actually going to proceed off the table. Um, uh, what we're doing is looking for the airship nearby, which is right in front of us there, just off the saw. So what we need to do then is adjust the cannon, uh, so we can aim that towards the white arrow just above us to the left on the old power hub. Now, we do have to act slightly fast here. So once we've hit this, what we can do then is uh, hit the cannon. So once we've hit the cannon now, we will then immediately point the pinwheel near the airship towards it, so that the airship is sent along its path to the far side. There we go, we'll go ahead and do that. Now, once on the other side, we can jump off the airship onto the table, step onto the treadmill, and we'll change the direction of the power.
Right, let's head back now to the airship, and then we're going to point the pinwheel on the table towards the airship again. So if we get off, so get Brucey on. Now with this pinwheel, we're going to, uh, on the table, we will uh, move it along to the path that we just enabled. So that's going to get stuck. That's exactly what we want. So now we can actually jump on the bridge to the table ahead and then go through the balloon machine. Ooh, it's a condiment machine. Yeah, you see what he's going to do. Anyway, get in the boxes here to check the, uh, check the kicking, kick the chicken, square in the licking. And that's another one complete for this level. So that's level 34 is done. Right, uh, so once we've done that, we can adjust the pinwheel just after the blue machine, just by the table here, so that it points towards the exit door. So it should be on the table right in front of us. And then we can jump onto the pinwheel as the free soldier to get over to the other side. Bring a look good. Okay, of course, we're still not quite done just yet. So with the cannon, we with any one of them, we're going to aim it at the white power hub arrow just above us. And then we're going to have Brucey smash that one. Eesh! Die Hard 7. Smash a cannon with your head. Mmm. <clears throat> really PG-13. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So <laughs> once that one is done, that'll basically turn off the crush machine. I don't know if you noticed. And that will get the bridge going after the crusher. So now our soldiers are good to go. So finally, they're actually going to be doing something. So what we need to do then is get our prism blocks going so we can go through the machine and across the bridge. Uh, and then basically straight through the exit. So get them going to the right. Uh, grab another one, and then effectively we're just sending them up the book. So almost there, yeah, it's almost there. So what we're going to do now is adjust the second cannon, and we're going to use that on the exit door platform. So to, we'll aim that now at the above arrow, the new white arrow. So go into the left, so it'll go the other side. So again, as Brucey, give that a whack, and then just wait for the soldiers to get clear of this first bridge. Not persisted. I am afraid nothing more. Deterioration. Rest assured that, as always, I will be on hand to do everything I can to alleviate some of the pain for yourself and your family. Please do not hesitate to contact me if there is anything at all you feel I might be able to do for you. Kind regards, Dr. Oliver Knowles. So there we go. Now we can go ahead and grab a red brick. And we're going to pop that there, just so everyone can get through the exit. And it's job done. Tidy Boy 6, number 7 will be Brucey e. Willis himself, and that's job done. Now, the next level is another cinematic cutscene. So, let us enjoy as the Godfather. Or, or, or something. What's this, Helen? Have you seen this? Hmm? Oh, that. Yes, it came through this morning. This morning? Why didn't you say something? What is there to say? Besides, you were working. I didn't want to disturb you. What? Disturb me? What? This letter is what disturbs me. Have you read it? Helen, we need to act now. What do you want to do? Well, let's see a different doctor, for starters. 
Oh, I know Dr. Knowles is a family friend, but we should get a second opinion. And what if the second opinion is the same as the first? <sighs> we'll get a third one. And a fourth one. As many as it takes. Look, I am making a lot of progress downstairs. We could even afford to travel overseas soon. I have made some inquiries. There is someone there Albert, who... Listen. You know it doesn't work like that. We need to be together now. Really be together. Make the most of it. Do you understand what I'm saying, love? And we need to start looking beyond this now. For your and Rose's sake. There's a lot to think about. A lot to plan. <sighs> well... You can give up if you want. I'm not going to give up. Albert. Albert! Dr. Knowles. If that's Nick Knowles from BBC, he can bag her off, son. Right, so anyway, welcome to level 36. Now we are going to go ahead and get the third instrument of death. So simply play it, get crushed to hell. And like I said, if you see the save symbol in the top right hand corner, that means that that death has counted. So you should now be on three out of five for the instrumentios of death. So. There we go. Happy days with that one done. Of course, there is another chicken in this level as well. So there we go. So what we need to do then, we're going to open up the toy soldier box. We're going to place a red block so that the soldiers hit the cannon before the crusher. Makes, makes all the sense, doesn't it? So what we'll do is actually adjust the cannon and it will hit the wooden plank that's supporting a shelf with a paint can on it just above. So yeah, just get them nice and trapped for the minute. Uh, that'll do as long as they're trapped, they're all good. Now it's not this cannon we need to adjust, but if you just go behind the crusher, uh, there is going to be another cannon uh, just after it, and we can aim that towards the uh, next cannon, just above the wooden plank. So we'll go and slap that one square in the old Napoleon dynamite. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go. Ah, oh, damn it! I just had it. Here we go. All right, there we go. Right, so now we can go ahead and adjust the second cannon, which will hit the third cannon, just on a paint can right in front of us there. And then for the final one, we are going to adjust the third cannon to hit uh, the white arrow on the power hub above. Hooray! So now once you have hit that one, uh, we'll just pop the red brick, uh, the red block somewhere else for now. Uh, but we could basically now just make a move. So the crusher has been disharbloded. 
Robert Desablade. Desablade. And then effectively what we could do now is just get um, all the red bricks around so we can get past the crusher, like I said, and walk straight into the palace. So again, it's an easy enough path, um, but you just, uh, yeah, just keep it going. Obviously, you need to be going right and then left, and it's job done. So once you do have your free, uh, your soldiers on here, they should just loop around without any issues. Uh, again, just double check if you want, of course, with the right bumper. Check the um, tingamajigger. Check the path. So what we're going to do now is head to this airship. Now, for some reason, I kept falling after falling. It took me about three minutes in order to not <laughs> completely fall. Uh, so once we have done that, uh, we will now adjust the cannon just after the ruler to target another cannon, which is on another box. So with that one, we can now adjust the second cannon so that it is uh, aiming at the airship just above us. Hello. And then obviously once we've done that, we can hit the first cannon as Brucey or the free soldier, which will lower the second airship, and then we can get to the table ahead. Joys of joys. Right, so from here, what we're going to do, we're going to run across this table. This is going to be a drum just to the left of us. Um, so we'll, we are going to need to adjust this drum in order to get to the other table. There we go. Yep, just the one directly in front of us, and then we can jump on him. Oh man, Brucey's legs are taking a batter in today, aren't they? Right, so go ahead, find the treadmill, uh, which is just over to the left right here. Walk on it. That's going to get a few new bridges open and accessible. Blah, blah, blah. And then now, of course, we're going to need to get some red blocks going so that our soldiers are going to go from the central platform over to the table where Brucey is. So, again, it is literally just an easy case of whatever your soldiers are, just get the blocks going, pop them over the bridge. Then we'll go ahead, grab the next red block, we'll put it through to the turnstile, so make sure it is obviously pointing to the, um, in fact, no, it's going to have to go around the other way. Um, no, no, it's all good. So, yeah, we'll go ahead, grab another one, and then what we're going to do is obviously just pop this one down so that the uh, bro skis on the mo skis don't get cho skis on the floor skis. Well, there we go, and then we'll grab the third red blo uh, block, third red block right there. Just pop that at the end, so they're not going to get 
onto the floor. So that'll get them going through the turnstile lovely. Now grab this next red block and then we're going to redirect them uh, back onto the central platform now. So as soon as your soldiers are all back on here, put it, uh, put one red block right here so they can just keep looping around. Very much like Bruce Willis in that film, Looper. Ah, he's done some looping in his time. So speaking of Bruce, we're going to go back over the treadmill, as I said, in reverse, so follow the arrows. That will then close the bridges and the duplicator machine is enabled. So this is going to be the first time we're going to go through the duplicator machine. Now, if you don't know what a duplicator machine is, you probably know it duplicates things. So if we've got four, we're going to have eight. If we've got 12, then we're going to have 24. If we've got 2,947, we're going to have 4,000, 5,000 and odd. Yeah, so anyway, uh, we're going to place the red block on the central platform. We're effectively now just going to direct our soldiers through said duplicator machine. Obviously, follow the arrow. You know which way to send them in. Then we can place a red block just at the end, so we're basically going to get 10, so there should be 10 which are going to pop out, and they are going to just loop around the platform once more, so keep it here, as I said, and then there's going to be, we've already got 5, so of course we're going to have 10. Right, so we are effectively now going to head to the exit. Let's go, my little friends. Okay, so once they're all processed, like I said, you've got 10 soldiers. We're going to return to Brucey, walk on the treadmill once again so that the bridges shall be enabled and the duplicator will be disabled. And the bridge which we just came through, we're going to send them across the bridge to the table with the exit door. So not where Brucey is, but the one... Yeah, I kind of messed that up uh, right there. I took the soldiers too long. So get your soldiers quite a bit away. Then with Brucey, get the um, treadmill back on. There you go. Let's just do that one properly. So there we go. So again, don't send them the way of Brucey. We need to send them directly, uh, basically straight up. So not where we're going now, but straight upwards. Silly, silly sausage I ams. So grab the next uh, red block and put it next to the duplicator. Again, you need 10. We've got 10. Let's chuck them through. And then we're going to grab another red block just after the turnstile again in order to trap all the soldiers, which we can then go to Brucey for some more Brucey business. Right, so once they're all trapped there and they're all <laughs> golden as square bags, um, we can leave this here and then eventually, I say eventually, we are going to go back to El Brucey. Where are you? Oh, there you are, of course. So, yeah. So, going back to Brucey then, we now have a bridge enabled to go back to the uh, first platform table that we were on. So, head through over to the bridge. 
not quite done here. What we're going to do is we are going to go across the table. We're going to jump up on some uh, books. So ignoring all these, but continue straight forward. We are going to go onto some books on the upper shelf and up some more books and then some more paint cans until we finally reach a balloon machine. So the first thing I'm going to do here then, there is a chicken right in front of us. So what I'm going to do is we need to actually adjust the pinwheel in order to get ourselves blown over more over there. Now, before, I think when the game first released, you were able to just jump straight up off that drum at the edge of the table and grab it that way. But there have been a couple of updates since. So this is obviously the very up-to-date one, so hopefully they won't update it anymore. But once you've adjusted the pinwheel, head towards it. And skablamo, there is the next chicken for you to grab. So stick your nut straight in that chicken's butt. And then, yeah, that's another collectible done. So what we could do here then is just simply rewind. And again, we will grab a balloon, but this time we're going to wait because we actually need to adjust that pinwheel once again. And we need to do it so it is aimed for the white arrow again of the power hub. Just above where the we just got that last chicken. The last chicken butt in your nut. Right, so once that's done, grab another balloon, pop yourself over. Now, if you have got this correctly, you will basically shut the crusher down. You'll hit the button, shut the crusher down, job done. If not, just rewind and start again. And now it's a simple case of using your red blocks to direct your regular soldiers to get to the exitos. Exitos, bambaritos. In your mapati. It's very nice, very nice, isn't it? Right, so what we could do then, just as Brucey, we are going to um, get the drum over to the other side, jump off, and straight to the exit door. Again, try to actually jump on the drum, not break your leg nosses. And onwards we go! Level 37. So, let's head down the steps, go to the right, you can see the palace. There's the box on it as well. So, we're going to place a red block so that the soldiers are basically going to loop around after they have gone through said palace. So, there we go. And they'll just keep uh, chilling back and forth. We can then get Bruce Willis out of his hidey hole. Come on, then, Bruce, let's do it. So, uh, next to the platform is going to be an airship. There it is. So we're going to get on that without uh, breaking ourselves. And then it is just a simple case of using the pinwheels in order to direct the ship to the end of the path. So the pinwheel is going to be, there you go, right in front of the airship. So turn it around. Uh, I think it's going to be two which we can use to get to the very end of the path. <laughs> So 
So when we jump off, we are going to head... First of all, we're going to head straight in front of us to find the next chicken. So once again, stick your nut in the butt. And uh, that's another one done, down, brown, town, dusted. So head back up, take a left over the bridge. Over the bridge rather than under it. And you can see the trio of cannons. Three cannons here, so we can uh, select... Any cannon, literally doesn't matter which one it is, but we're going to aim it to the white arrow just on the power hub above, and then we can hit said cannon. Then next up, we are going to adjust the cannon on the other side of the bridge so that it's going to aim towards the airship so uh, give that one again and obviously we can um oh, in fact actually we're going to adjust the cannon so that it hits the white arrow as well just in front of it there too so once you've got those two adjusted we're going to go to where our free soldier is and we're going to select the second of the three cannons whichever one you want it for this time we're going to aim it for the current white arrow uh, which would be the right one, just ahead of us. And then with the soldier, or with Bruce, we can hit it, which will reactivate the bridge. And then we'll cross the bridge and go ahead and hit the cannon where we found big old chicken balls earlier on. So that'll obviously hit the other cannon, which will hit the other power, but it won't have any effect for now. At least we won't see it. For now. Okay, one more little cheeky thing to do. Go left, back of the bridge. And this time with the third cannon, we are once again going to hit the white arrow on the power hub above us. And that will disable the bridge again. And that is exactly what we want. So with that done, head towards this little bit of blue machine here. We're going to go through it, grab a balloon, and then before throwing up, or throwing down, we're going to adjust the pinwheel just in front of us there, uh, so that we get to the drum over to the right-hand side. Uh, the drum should then be able to just pop us straight on. There we go. It's, it's uh, in fact, no, we're going for the high shelf, sorry. So adjust the drum there so that it gets to the high shelf on the right hand side because there's going to be another balloon machine on it well aren't we lucky car dams everywhere in this game uh, balloons just regular old balloons of course hmm. right sticky nut in the balloon once again and then we can jump straight in front of us to get on to well there we go hey, we'll try that again. we'll just try that one again we're trying to get across the wall of boxes so if you can, there we go, that's what I was attempting to do. Uh, this time we can hit the white arrow on the first power hub, which should be uh, directly, if we, uh, there it is. So if you just head down, drop down, you shouldn't die, you shouldn't get squished. But there we go, we can hit that one, that's basically then going to redirect power to the next side of the room. So now, going forward, we're going to jump onto the airship, and this time, we are going to nip to a cannon, which is placed a cup. There we go, the one straight in front of us, on a couple of books. So this time, oh, well, I accidentally hit that, so let's just cheekily rewind right now. Uh, what we're actually going to do is adjust that cannon so it's aimed at the airship just above us right there. Now we can go ahead and smack the cannon square in the flannon. Right. 
Right, so we've got the whole bum-ba-da-bum-ba-dum, the drum of the train. We're going to move this to the very end of the path. So effectively what we're trying to do is uh, get the cannon on the table to aim it at that drum. And then the cannonball can bounce towards the blue book that's part of the wall of boxes. So the cannon is... where's that cannon? Where's that? There it is. So that cannon right there. So hit it against the drum, of course, and then move the drum to the blue book. So again, we're going to need to do this so we can make a bit of an awkward jump here just onto the pipe and then straight across. Give that a whack and then it's job. Done! I mean, I say job done, we've still got to get the soldiers to make it through said wall of boxes. So, find them, they should still be on the central palacey bit. There they are. So they should be there, um, again, as long as you arrange the blocks in such a way, they should be golden as square balls. So we need to direct the soldiers out of the platform. So obviously out of this platform, and then we're going to get another, another red block here to go up. We basically have to get past the wall of boxes and the downed book. Uh, now after they get through there, they're basically going to automatically turn after the book and proceed in the direction of the exit door, which is of course to the left. Mr. Butterworth. So while the soldiers go marching on and on, we can put the drum on a train to back in its original position. So yeah, so basically where it was, straight ahead, and with this drum we're going to obviously move it so it points to the other table on the left. Success, getting the device to function here in our internal workshop. We have since shipped a few test units to some of our members, and early reports seem to indicate that these duplicator prototypes are enabling them to triple, and in some cases quadruple, their output. Needless to say... So, make sure Brucey is around as well, because we need six soldiers in order to go through, so that includes you, Brucey Willis, being part of that as well. Because um, you've only got five soldiers walking, so you need Brucey to go through as well. Um, so yeah, if you put the drum there into the turnstile, just make sure Brucey is here as well, and he can walk through with the soldiers, and that'll be all six done. That will then disable Zed Crusher. As such, the Directorate have asked me to inform you that they are ready to release a substantial amount of new funding to facilitate both your future research on behalf of the Guild, as well as to compensate the excellent work we've been doing. Perfectione! That gets the, um, yep, so that gets the bridge going. So we have to be quite quick with this one then. So again, go across the bridge. We're going to jump over the airship, stand at the ready. So don't click it just yet. So you need to wait for the soldiers to make a turn at the airship and then uh, basically head back towards the turnstile. So once they are off the bridge and they are back at the turnstile and the airship is flown up uh, so yeah once all the soldiers are off the bridge you hit the white arrow again and then we can uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it so again you need to wait for these soldiers to go back once they're off the bridge hit the white arrow again and then hit the next arrow and then uh, that's the airship gone and the bridge will be back now all we got to do then is simply place one red block here just by the exit and uh, that's it. So what you're going to see then is everything's going to go black and white. As long as you've got six soldiers, though, 
So the five on their own and um, obviously the three Willis. This is how it's going to end. Um, you can probably tell what's going to happen here with the uh, everything going completely black and white and dark and silent. But even though they haven't gone through the door, they still count towards it. You've got six. It's job done. So just follow the wispy boy and then level 38 is uh, cutscene. So hurrah. Actually, it's not so much hurrah as it is emotional. Get ready for the tissues. Yowchie, that is not good, and it's basically going to get, um, it's going to get our Albert into an absolute frenzy, as one would imagine. It's, uh, yeah, not, not very easy to be dealing with any of that, and I really, really feel for anyone who's ever had to deal with, uh, something like that as well, as in their partner dying, etc. <sighs> Words cannot express. So anyway, this level is level 39. We just go to basically close all the toy soldier boxes. So there's one right in front of us. There's one by this crusher machine here. Um, there's three which are by duplicators. So there's two tables with duplicators on them with three. So there's another one. Oh, we're going to go and get those ones now. One just in front of the incinerator as well, which we just grabbed. Yeah, Albert's really losing his head. And, you know, I don't... I don't... I don't blame him. This stuff's gonna get way more emotional, by the way. And this is genuinely... As frustrating as some of these bloody puzzles were, the story is just... I mean, from now, it really does get intense, and it really hits home. Like I said, I've been lucky enough not... Sounds really harsh, but obviously, you know, we've all lost grandparents and stuff, and that is just horrible. I've lost a cousin, we all have, but I've been lucky not to lose a partner, or my parents, or, you know, siblings or anything like that. So I am super lucky, and I cannot imagine the stress that anyone deals with um, who has to go through it. So just, ugh, yeah. My heart goes out to anyone who is... Who has been in this situation or is currently in this situation. But anyway, with that one done, once you've gone around and closed all the boxes, the level will end. All we got to do then from now is just go up, uh, interact with the box, and it's going to be the end of the level, and then it's level 40. Oh, aren't we in for some fun, especially 43 and 44. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be made easier for you, though. Now, here is level 40 then, 11 levels left to go. Now, this seems daunting, but uh, yeah, they're not not—they're not too bad, um, uh, these ones here. They look like incredibly difficult, but they're really not that bad. So, what we're going to do, if you go straight in front of us then, that is the toy soldier box. And then we effectively now have to put a bunch of red blocks down so our soldiers will get into the hamster wheel. 
So once we get it open, place one block around here and then uh, two a little bit further down until one soldier, like I said, gets into the hamster wheel. Right, so we need to be getting through the turnstile here, which requires 12. We obviously only have six at the minute. But that's fine, just fine. We're basically going to do a loop-de-loop. -loop and uh, get we're going to cheat our way through this one. It's not cheating. The game obviously requires us to do this, but uh, yeah. So what we're going to need to do then is... So if we get, obviously, six of these little broskies through... Um, Again, what we need then is like three red blocks. So one to hit uh, downwards and then another one to go up the book and then a ramp to go up the book as well. And then one to go back through the turnstile and that'll be all 12. Math magician is genius. So if you're wondering what's just popped up, basically it is a vac tube which will transport us to new places. And again, this is another prominent feature from now until the end of the game. So we're going to just get two red blocks so that instead of looping, we're going to make for the vac tube near this door, right where we started the level. So they're basically going to come out of the right hand side. So again, you can obviously pause it while you set up something here, or you can just fast forward it, whatever. Obviously we'll normally pause it as we've been doing. So this time we're going to set up a couple of red blocks again in order to get him going through the treadmill. So grab another one, pop them through. And then what we need to do now is arrange all the blocks, so basically the edge of the table here, and then we effectively have to make three ramps in order to get over three books, and pretty much back to the start of the level.
So when you're finally back here at the start, we're going to go back through the vac tube, only this time we're going to go to the other side of the room near the palace. We're going to get a free boy. We're going to get Bruce Willis back out. Uh, so, um, obviously we are going to do what we've been doing so far. So we're going to get the, the soldiers through the palace and trap them there as we've been doing. Now, uh, make sure that you trap them, but don't let them go back through the vac tube. They can go back through the tube and then of course they might fall and die. So you just need to set up a couple of traps there. So get them through. Let's get Brucey and then we're going to trap him including making a block for the vac tube exit. We recently heard of your wife's tragic passing here at the guild, and on behalf of all of us, I wanted to extend our deepest condolences for your loss. It had been a while since we last heard from you, so I assumed you were actively engaged in ongoing research, but I appreciate now that this may not have been quite the case. Please know, that the Directorate does not shy away from issues that may be affecting the Guild's members and is here to offer its full support. After all, we are all a family, and as such, the members' families are our extended family. We about to get some Lord of the Rings style adventure going on now, man. Right, so we're going to go to the end of the table, jump across the crates, but there's actually, before we do that, there is going to be a chicken behind us on top of a high shelf. So, if we turn around, which I am going to do in just a minute, there it is, you can just see it in the distance there on the high shelf. So before doing that, we are going to head up, um, climb up all of these paints and wooden bits and everything like that, give the chicken a kick, and then you can cross all the way over. There it is. Stick the button, it's nut. Wait a minute. And then just head towards the balloon machine. ...from the current affairs and I will look forward to reviewing your progress. Time heals all wounds, and nothing accelerates time like good and honest work. Yours, Lucian Mantelfell, Secretary of the Guild of Toymakers. God damn, I fall like an absolute jag hires. Okay, so what we're going to do then, we are going to get a balloon and simply jump across the gap in order to reach the boxes to the next airship. And then of course, get your buns on that airship, Huns, once again. So that there's a pinwheel next to the airship, we're going to send this one to the end of its path and then we can jump off onto the shelf. So, once here, we are now going to get to, we're going to climb all over these, get to the next balloon machine. And again, we need to jump across the gap towards the pinwheel, but try to land just before the pinwheel, otherwise you's going spinning like this. And if that happens, simply just rewind and try and land near it. Right, so now we can run across the saw and then jump into the next airship. Airship, airship. Then we're going to use the pinwheel we were just by uh, to move the airship forward once again. And then when we get here, about halfway through this big room now, we're going to adjust the drum to obviously get onto the big crates. And then we'll go for a little divey dive. Little Dave the Dive. Little Dave the Drum Diver. Dive. Dive the Drum Diver. Right, and then we're going to grab a balloon. We're just going to wait for a minute while we adjust the pinwheel. This one here. And then we're going to adjust this one to get to the next pinwheel right ahead. Uh, but before we do that, let's go and adjust the second pinwheel. And point it towards the crate with the balloon machine on it. So once you've got those set up, simply jump forward and enjoy.
Now, <laughs> finally, we're almost there, but now we'll grab a balloon from the old balloon machine, not the ones that cost £2.50 a pop, which is a rip-off, by the way, and then head on to the airship, and again, we're going to use the pinwheel to send the airship forward, and then, the lastly, we'll grab a balloon from the balloon machine on the crates. But of course, before doing that, let's grab the drum, uh, put it onto the platform, which has the cannon on it, basically straight ahead of you. And now, as Brucey Boy will jump onto the drum, land on the platform ahead. Ooh! Doink, doink! There we go. Next up, we will adjust the cannon, so it's going to point at the white arrow on the power hub to the left of it. So effectively what that's just done now is rooted the vac tubes so our soldiers can now finally enter the vac tube. Uh, where they are near the palace. See, you thought we forgot about them, huh? <laughs> Nobody forgets a soldier. Soldiers are kick-ass, man. No one forgets. Anyway, we can now basically transport them all the way to the end of the level. So um, whatever obstacles you've moved, uh, used to trap them, obviously get them out of the way and allow the soldiers to enter the vac tube. And then head all the way back down. They're basically now going to be automatically directed to the exit door. So we can just focus on Brucey Boy himself. Bruh, Rose is not looking good. And we haven't seen Albert about. He's obviously in... Uh, he's obviously in rejection mode. <sighs> Which again, you know what? It's a, it's a tricky situation, that one. Um, but anyway, we are now going to... Now, what I thought... Well, <laughs> me being the dumb bum, I thought you had to get back on the drum and drum yourself over. But what you've actually got to do is just use the pinwheel to float yourself over... Grab a balloon, jump over, exit, 6 out of 6, and on to level 41. Okay, so in this level again, we are obviously have another chicken and the fourth out of fifth instrument of death with some mechanical spider legs. Rawr. Albert really went off the rails on this one, didn't he? I'll make fun toys until my wife passes, then I'll make some angry mechanical spider legs. Damn, son. <laughs> Damn. Right, so what we're going to do then is get our uh, soldiers out. Out, we are going to arrange the blocks to basically send the uh, one of the soldiers into the big electricity hamster wheel. Uh, that is basically going to give us a bridge to the platform with the palace. So, with the blocks again, we're going to direct our soldiers there. And we can, uh, if you want, you can use the pot for the pinwheel to save ourselves a block if you want. Um, but it literally doesn't matter, so do what you want. But basically, we have to cross this bridge.
So we're also going to need to grab some red blocks and just give them the trap of life. So again, if you grab two red blocks, uh, once they get through the palace, just get them trapped. So they go in back and forth, get back and forth, 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 until they can no longer go back and forth. Or until we need them to move on. Anyway, we now have uh, Big Brucey. Come here, Bog. You know, Bruce Bog Trotter. King of Matilda eating that delicious whole chocolate cake with Miss Trunchable. Everyone knows Matilda. And not the musical either. The musical was okay, but it does never beat the classic. Um, because I'm actually, let's be honest, if... You know, I'm not one to be all like, oh, everything's woke. Not at all. I, it, pff, nothing bothers me. It's nice to be nice. But let's be honest, if there was a film about uh, metaphors about beating kids today um, and throwing little girls by their pigtails over a spiky fence and Miss Trunchable doing all that, it's not going to be made, is it? Uh, right, so anyway, once we get onto the other platform with the airship and the pinwheel, we're going to head up on the high shelf right here. Hello, King. Um, and then we will get to another balloon machine. What we're going to do is grab a balloon and just wait here. Because we need to adjust the pinwheel once again on the table below. So that it's basically going to point to the pinwheel near the palace platform. Yes, the one over to the left. Do you see? There we go, we see. That, then what we need to do is adjust that pinwheel near the palace... So it points towards the windowsill with the candle on it. So we now need to turn around and then just uh, simply readjust the other one and boosh it forward. Mighty boosh it forward, as it were. Okay, now we're in the darkest depths of hell. Uh, we are going to... Well, we're already on the windowsill, so what we're going to do now is adjust the cannon here. So there's going to be a cannon just on the same windowsill that we are, uh, so that it aims for the door and hits the cannon. Uh, so that it just hits the door, sorry. And then obviously hit it as Brucey. Right then, get back towards your soldiers in through the palace platform. Uh, so what we're going to do is place some red blocks, basically to just send our soldiers onto the nearby drum, which is uh, just on the saw. So we need to place another one to go on the saw, and then basically down the workbench, and obviously make sure that the drum is adjusted to go in to the shelf on the door. And of course, adjust the drum, the next drum, so that it goes onto the uh, turnstile platform right here. Because obviously, we're going to be powering that up like an absolute powerific power man. Power!
So, you can let your troops march for just a second, but we need to do uh, get some other things set up and ready. So, near the turnstile is another cannon, there it is. So, we're going to aim that for the ladder that is just leaning against the shelf. Yes, not the bottom one, but the top ladder. So, yeah, that one go in. And now we can go back to the windowsill with Brucey. And then what we need to do now is adjust the drum that's below it so it sends... Um, so it sends Brucey to the boxes straight in front of us there. Uh, so then we can simply go ahead, jump onto the drum, make our way up to the balloon machine. And then effectively we're grabbing a, grabbing a balloon and then go into the same table. So, we've still got to hit the cannon, so that's what we're going to do. Make a break for it while your troops are still marching. Remember, they still go very slow, so nay panicky bother. Not up these books, but the ones behind you. That's what we need to do. Make a break for it. So, jump up the paint cans. And we'll try that one again. Eh, not very good at jumping. Uh, uh, climb up. And again, all we need to do is hit that cannon. So what we're actually going to do as well is just go ahead and grab two, um, two red blocks. So you can pause it again if you want here. We're going to grab two red blocks, put them in uh, each of the ladder's locations so that obviously they'll be climbing up. And we'll finally just grab this last one and we can put this right next to the vac tube so our soldiers can go for a little, a little spin. They've done a lot of walking so time for a little, nice little fry ride. Okay, but we still got more stuff to do. So get back to being Brucey. And then we need to go uh, to the couple of books there right in front of us. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, again, if you think you need a little bit more time, because of course time doesn't pause when you're Brucey. I don't know if you've noticed. Four and a half hours in. Um, so if you need a bit more time, rewind just a little bit. Uh, jump on the windowsill here. Grab a balloon and wait again, because we are going to adjust the cannon. Um, which is on the red paint can. You're going to have to get out and go to the left. So, yes, the higher cannon here, you need to aim that at the small cans there, which is just supporting the ladder. That's obviously going to get the ladder down. And we're also going to adjust the pinwheel just near the windowsill here. It's going to send Brucey to the red paint can, and then we can jump from that windowsill um, towards it, which will... Take us to the cannon. Well, I'm terribly sorry about the uh, pause right here. Uh, missed that in editing. <laughs> right, so there are the spider mechanical legs anyway. Like I said, remember that deaths, um, as we are pretty much, you know, just waiting for the soldiers to pop through this vac tube here. Uh, but remember the deaths count immediately. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just, just get murdered once by these mechanical things, mechanical spider legs, and then we will die on the very last level by a mechanical spider. Uh, so go ahead, grab a, grab a couple of red blocks here as, once again, we wait. Just setting everything up. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, there we go, right. So, pop ourselves through, now we're good. We're gonna hit the cannon again, that'll get the ladder down. And again, we are just waiting, of course. So what we're actually going to do, as I said, there are two ladders. The left way up the long ladder is the way to go, but the right one, if you just want to sneakily get smashed up, which we're going to do to get uh, the fourth out of fifth instrument of death, make sure to go right uh, up the short ladder and die, and then rewind and then carry on. Hurrah! All we're gonna do then is put one more red block down, face it towards the exit, and that is another beauty done, my 42 level coming up. I mean level 42 coming up right after we get Brucey on the other way. Remember, we need to grab the chicken as well, which is at the end of this level, so uh, don't worry, of course I haven't forgot about it. Why would I do that to you? So we're basically just taking the same route that the soldiers did. So we're going to fly over the spider legs. Hello, Spider-Man. Uh, you can see the chicken basically right in front of us on a box. So we're going to drop down onto the drum. Make sure to jump up onto this book before heading to the exit, of course. Kick the chicken in his balls. Put him in your tray of food. And that is that. On to the next. Now, if you didn't get the mechanical spider death last time, you can get it this time quite easily, but of course, we've already done it, so we don't need to. But that's just in case you need to. Right then, so what we're going to do is get the uh, soldiers out. We are going to put the uh, red block just down here in order to get them into the palace. Get our free boy up.
again, obviously, you're going to be making sure to trap these in such a way where nobody falls off, nobody dies, and everyone is all good. So adjust the cannon, which is on the book, right up to the power hub there, the white arrow at the top. And give Brucey a little sticker on that. So once that's done, we are going to do some climbing. A lot of climbing. Now, this level was pretty, um, uh, kind of heavily edited. And this one just, for some reason, just completely lost and uh, completely rotted my brain. So it was a bit of an edit in this one. So we basically adjusted the cannon to hit the other white arrow up there. And the chicken, if we fall straight down there, that is where the next chicken lay. So again, apologies that I didn't show that one, but that is where the next chicken was. So make sure to get that one down. Um, and then we can go straight forward onto the ruler and through to the vacuum tubing. And there we go, we'll just simply walk forward, fast forward forward, and go forwarder than no forward has ever forwarded before. Hello, there he is. Right, so we'll jump across onto the paint cans. I should have made some noise of that. And then with this cannon, we are going to adjust. And we are going to make this one hit the board, which is just up on the way there. So we'll give Brucey a little hit on that. And then we could just simply um, head back down. In fact, no, we're not heading back down. We're heading up. Continue heading up. We need Brucey to stay basically on this treadmill. First of all, we're going to get him across the treadmill. Not that there's any power just yet, but it's what we need for the vac tube. So head down to the beginning of the level again, where, of course, our soldiers are just chilling, and there's quite a few of them at this time. So let us turn the... We're bit effectively now just turning the block around, getting them through the ruler and through the next vac tube. Again, sorry, it's all been edited here, but you need to be turning these two around. So effectively what you're doing is going up to the right. There is the next hamster wheel that we need. Um, and this is the side that we need to finish on. So go ahead, grab that red prism block. And we're going to put this one just where the book is in order to get the hamster wheel going. So once you've done that, and they're all trapped, and they're all good for now, uh, we are going to get back here as Bruceness. To get back as Brucey, go back across the treadmill. That is obviously, once again, going to redirect the power. Redirect the power! And then this time what we're going to do is turn the... Uh, turn this red block around, and we're basically going to send these through this back tube which will get into the middle where the duplicator is. Right, so in order to finish this level, we basically have to group these up together. Um, it's a... It's a bit of a tricky one to explain, but uh, I I'll, I'll, will do my best. So, effectively, we need about six or seven on each side. So, first of all, we're going to get these through the duplicator. I don't think they actually duplicate anymore. Um, we are then going to send one of these, or a, a couple of these, through the next vac tube. So, each of these vac tubes basically goes to the opposite side of the room where the mechanical spiders are. So we need 10 on each side. So we've got 20 to play with. There's the spider. There's all the legs. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and grab a whole bunch of blocks. Now remember, to finish this level, we need 10 out of 10. It can be very easy to accidentally get 9. So again, if that's the case and you only get 9 out of 10. So as you can see there, look, mechanicals, it's, it's, it's not going well. You're just not going to get through by doing that. Uh, but basically, if you end the level on 9 out of 10, again, just rewind until you get... Um, and then just try and trap them a little bit tighter. But there is a way to do it. And this is the way that we're going to do it. And again, this is this is the part that just confused the absolute dog's hairy pubes off this for me. Dogs have pubes? Or a dog's just one big pube? Hmm. Interesting. The questions we seek. The questions we need answered. Dogs are just, they just, their fur is pubes. So everyone who's kissing their dogs are just kissing pubes. <laughs> ah, but I like dogs, so it doesn't bother us. So we are going to grab a couple of these blocks. Effectively, we're trying to go for 10. So we've got 20 soldiers. We're trying to go for 10 of these each side. So what we need to be doing is, um, like I said, we need to be trapping them and then uh, pushing them through. So again, I do apologize, this is uh, slightly confusing here. Now, you can't actually duplicate any more. All that does is actually unduplicate them. So that is what I was, <laughs> that is what I was trying there. And it just unduplicates them. So I thought, oh, if we can get 30, 40, 50, that'll be nice and easy. Not so. Right, so let us actually get down to business now. Now, I like business. So let's get down to business. Brucey, get him back across the treadmill. And we're just going to pause everyone for the minute. So we need two. Again, we need another two red prism blocks. Now, what we need to do is make kind of a ramp, but sort of just in the middle of this. So that that vac tube that we just put that one on, these soldiers are only going to go back and forth. They're not going to go back through that vac tube. This one will do the same thing. So make like a ramp but the opposite side, so they'll just hit this one and then keep going back. So we effectively need to try and get these down at the very same time. So count these, get about, uh, if you can get 10, that'll be better as well. And once you do have 10, you can then, um, not twist, but you can rotate these ones in order to get them back going the other way. Obviously, that didn't work too well because they all started dying. So uh, let's just uh, let's do a little bit of rewinding. Yep. Let's just do a little bit of rewinding. There, there we go. Okay, so we'll just try that one again. So effectively, like I said, we're just trying to get these over to the other side. So once these are in and over, as long as this sort of, um, they should be roughly now here about the same time. So they should be roughly about the same time. Once, uh, once you have them about the same time, you can then rotate both of the blocks in order to get them aiming towards the books. So they will both, or, or both sets of groups will both go towards the exit and you should have uh, 10, then you should have 10. But again, you need to make sure that you are placing it down so that it hits the book, so that it goes towards the exit. Same for the other side, and hopefully you should finish with 10. And luckily for me, that's what happened. Again, if you end up with like 8 or 9 out of 10, simply trap them in a little tighter and just try and get the timing down a little bit better. Otherwise, away we go. Mrs. Radcliffe, so nice to see you. What brings you here? Oh! 
Are you ready to cry? Yes, here we are. Level 43. The one that... If my brain was squished before, well, it got squished more on this one. But I've tried to keep this nice and simple for you. There's just a lot going on. Um, so let's just do it. Right, so with we just got the, the first uh, block out, Mr. Moon. We're basically going straight in order to get the free Willis. Uh, grab a U block, and then we're going to put this one here. Effectively, what we're doing is going to the hamster wheel right there. So we'll need another T block. Get them on the hamster wheel. And obviously, we're going to need a... Uh, not a red block, actually. Now, there are plenty of these blocks about, so don't worry if you uh, think you've run out. You'll never run out. Just have a look around. You need another Mr. Moon one to finish and get the first bit up and running. So as Free Willis then, we can just run past these soldiers, uh, we are going to this two treadmills on this part, and we are going for the upper treadmill, or the one on the right hand side first of all. So we'll walk across it anyway, because once the electricity is started, it's gonna be freaking fantastic, I think. Right, so we're going to go to the opposite end of this little room or whatever. We're just going to go ahead and grab a moon shape, a Mr. Moon. This is the next vac tube that we're actually going to be coming out of in just a momento, senor, por favor. Uh, so we'll turn the, we'll rotate this U shape basically completely around. So what we're going to do, we need our soldiers to be hitting that cannon. So we're going to be doing a little adjusting in a minute. Use the triangle one, um, spin. Uh, spin that one around. Um, obviously, there's another uh, hamster wheel electricity ball happening as well. Grab a T bloke, T bloke, a T bloke, top bloke, mate. Uh, <laughs> um, and it's not even a T; it's a triangle. This is how much my eyes and my brain are starting to fade away incredibly in my young old age. Uh, so pop that one down. Of course, we're just setting this up in such a way that we're getting straight into the hamster wheel. Right, so we are heading back towards the beginning of the level, um, and again, we're going to have to do some setups here. So, we're just going to grab what we can.
Right, so not sure if I'm just being completely dull there, but the uh, Mr. Moon wasn't working the way I wanted it to. So we're going to need to leave one guy here. We are going to need to leave one guy and the rest can go through the vac tube. And again, there is method to my madness. There is a reason for that. Uh, so we're going to pop a... Uh, God damn it, you son of a... Let's try that again. Thank you! Right, so as the T, we can now head straight in to the... Again, leave one guy. So once you've got the majority of guys going, pop the T block back to where whence it came from. And you'll have one guy right there. And all we have to do then is get him into the electricity hamster wheel. Why am I being so stupid? Oh, there you go. I'm not stupid anymore. But I haven't got the guy in front. Oh, man! Oh my god, freaking finally! Right, so that's the one done, and now all the rest of our broskies are coming through ski. So again, one will head into this electronocution in hamster wheel, and then the rest we can effectively just leave here for a bit. So they're going to just do basically one endless loop. Remember, don't worry about the cannons, they can only hit that one at once. Um, so we are going to put the triangular back and then we're going to head to the opposite side of the room and we're going to get back to Brucey and then what we're going to do is head uh, effectively down so go for a nice little jog I love the way he runs he looks so manly for a little toy right so we are actually going to head through the vac tube ourselves. So, heading back around the corner, what we're going to do now is get some adjusting done. So, we uh, will adjust this uh, cannon here on the left to hit the airship straight in front of us. And then the cannon to the left of us, or basically straight in front of us, sorry, we are going to use on that second cannon. So, yeah, that'll do that one. Um, now, obviously, and obviously this first cannon, we are going to hit on the second cannon. So, there we go. So, three cannons all lined up there. Job done. Now, what we can do is just, for whatever particular reason, I almost went to use uh, freebie Bruce Willis, but um, no, we're all good. So, once all that is complete, we will uh, just going to rewind things a little bit here. Again, I've obviously popped Brucey there because I was going to just uh, go and hit that cannon, but now there's no need. So let's get our way, buns, back to the beginning bit. Yes. Right, so if you come around to this... Oh, almost coming around to this new area, sorry. Uh, yes, I do apologize. These, these three levels are slightly confusing. Uh, the last one, this one, and the next one. <laughs> Uh, but as Bruce then, what we're going to do here is we are going to go back to the original treadmill here on the right. And we're going to divert the power once more. And then we will take a cheeky little run back. There we go. So we're going to grab the T block first of all, just the yellow T block. And we're going to start setting everything up. Here, so, uh, sorry, the moon block. And we're going to start setting everything up on this table and the one behind us.
yeah, apologies if there was a, <laughs> a bit of a pause here. Like I said, just trying to uh, take a look and see what we're going to do next. What we're actually going to do next is go back to Free Willis. There he is. And then this time we're going to go to the other treadmill. And we're going to div divert the power again. That means that the vac tube will now go to... Uh, it'll be directed to the place we just set up. So we're going to go back to the far corner of the room. We're going to set everything up. We're, we're going to get our soldiers through the next vac tube. Oh, and we're going as Free Willis again, apparently. Um, yes. So we are just going to um, use the next treadmill as well. And then that should be squared away and golden. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Vac tube open. There we go. So we've got everything set up, as you can see there. So everything should be good to go. Uh, so that'll be one. Uh, another soldier in our little hamster wheel. And then we're just going to turn everything around. Not going back up through the vac tube. We need to get to the other... Uh, to the table behind us. So once we get there, we can now pause it. Let us adjust the drum. Now the drum we're actually going to put on the left-hand side here um, because we are going to get quite a few duplications going. And uh, we need uh, basically up to another 10, I think. So just keep on doing this for the time being until we get at least... I mean, that does definitely looks like more than 10, so just keep going. Why not get as many duplications as you can? Um, but then once you have yeah, around, I think it's about 10 to 12, 10 or 12 ish that we got there, we can now hit it back and we're done with this area. We go straight through to the next vac tube. And then we'll make our way around the corner again. And this time we're going to head to the right into this next new little area that we are yet to do. So once again, we're going to get back down as Bruce Willis. Free Willis, go back over the treadmill. Again, we're going to divert a little bit more power. And then, what we're going to see, there we go. So that should be that vac tube on. So now we're going to do some more setting up. Right, so once that one is done, let's head back to the other corner. We can now, just uh, just making sure there that everyone is through and nobody has deceased themselves. Um, again, obviously we need five here, so we are going to go, well, effectively back on ourselves because we need, once again, obviously the hamster wheel. Once you have done that last one, we will get the mechanical spider up and running and we'll get an achievement for doing so as well. And that is one. I mean, as if real spiders aren't enough. Oh, I know, let's get a mechanical spider where the battery lasts forever. And they are apparently fast as crap. And it's a lot more difficult to squash. And they come down and try and uh, rip your skin off. Nice! That's what we wanted. Not. Right, so once that's done, as I said, you will get the achievement there. It's alive! For powering on the spider. And now we will just go ahead and... Well, let's finish the levels, shall we? I think that's a great idea. So, let us do that, and uh, how we can do that is we are going to turn around this moon block. Now, effectively, like I said, we need to get five, at least five of these uh, dudes through the turnstile to the left.
Once again, I must apologise there for me, for some reason, struggling with that <laughs> one moon um, thing right there. So, yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, we do need people to get through to the turnstile. And, uh, yeah, now we can do that one. So, what we will actually be doing is putting the moon at the bottom, uh, the bottom uh, piece, and getting him up. And that'll be five through there. Right, so we're just gonna, again, they're not gonna fall off here, so they're all good, so you can keep that going. We're gonna go back as Free Willis. This time we're going to jump, and hello, everybody. But we're gonna go into the vac tube on our own, because this is Die Hard. It's a Christmas movie. We gotta do this snuff by ourselves. And where he's gonna end up is the opposite side um, of the uh, sort of secondary bench that we went to. So use this pinwheel anyway to jump straight to the box ahead. Uh, obviously, we're gonna fast forward a bit of time here so we can get free Willis. There she blows, and we will drop down, get onto the blue machine, go into the pinwheel, and over to the other side. There is a chicken. That is going to be on this next table as well. And then there's just four left, which three are going to be on the next level. So you can tell how well the next level is going to go. So uh, jump up on these tables anyway, and the chicken is on the set of books, so give this a little nut in the butt. There we go. Chicken butt's done. Uh, we're going to go through this one. It's only one that we need to go through. And that's exactly what we need. But ding to put the power, but ding. Right, now it is time to finish this. Let's finish this. Uh, there is going to be a drum, so we will have to... There's the drum over the other side, so we're going to get on the shelf. Right after we direct the drum over to the opposite table. There it is. And then, again, what we're going to do is just get everyone going through that vac tube. So, it is, they will automatically go to the exit, the spiders cannot kill them, so don't worry about that. And again, you should have 10, they, well, there's the other one, he's just following, 10 of the normal soldiers, and then one of Bruce Yu, Mr. Willis. Ah, ah, I win, screw you, Santa. I will, oh, crap. Anyway, 9-11, uh, let's not go there, you know, let's not go there. Um, but that is 11 out of 11. That is level 43 done. So again, I've got to apologize. There was quite a few confusing parts in that. So again, apologies about that one. Hopefully level 44 here, I will have done for you a lot smoother. I think I did do it a lot smoother. But this was a pain. This one, this level on its own is about 35 to 40 minutes long. And it was a pain in the absolute... This aged me three years, just this level alone. This, uh, yes. And the fact is, so, <laughs> managed to figure everything out. When I got to more or less the end, I had a bug where I had to restart the entire level. And it's a pain, so yeah. 
And obviously, I don't know if you've been aware by now, but if you don't finish the whole level, even if you return to the study, you have to start it all over again. So my advice is complete this one straight away. Just get it all out of the way as we do. Right, so heading to the left, we're going to grab a red block and pop it on this box. As you can see, the toy soldier box there is just up ahead. So we'll grab that one out. There we go. And then we're going to get another couple of red blocks. Well, one red block just in order to get it into the hamster wheel. And set that up for future endeavours. So if we get another red block, um, as soon as one goes in, there we go, we will get the next, we'll just um, nip off the next set, although we do need these dudes to get onto a treadmill. So uh, you can do this quite easily or you can be quite awkward with it, like me. Um, but once that first dude is in, that should be fine because we just need to get the treadmill going this way anyway. And then when that one is done, next up, we are going to grab another red cube. We're basically just going to head across the bridge here to the right. So set it up in a way where we're going to go across the bridge. And then we are going to get one or another two uh, red blocks in order to get the hamster wheel up and running. Now, I should also say as well that level 44, when this, uh, when the game first came out for the first couple of months or so, this level was completely different. So if you have been um, watching somebody else's guide, you will notice that while the premise is still the same, there were still quite a few things that were completely different. Um... And, uh, yeah, so following a very, very earlier guide might not be suitable on this level anyway. Right, so once that hamster wheel is popped up, we are now going to get all our broskies back across the bridge ski and up through the back tube. And when I say vac tube, I mean we actually got to go across the treadmill first to retract the bridge, and then we can go in the vac tube. Okay, so you can take one of these if you want, it doesn't matter if you don't, but we're going to head all the way to the end. And, uh, oh, god damn it! Again, you really, really don't need to go back and grab a fourth one, it's just, I just found it easier so you're not having to rush back, forth, there, forth and everything. Uh, but anyway. So, obviously, what you don't want is your little bras to be crushed by Crusher, as mine uh, almost was. Like that. Yeah, let, let's not. Let's not get him crushed by a Crusher, is it? So, make sure that nobody's been crushed, and then what you're going to do, where they've popped out of the vac tube, we're going to send them to the left, up the ladder, and then down towards the drum, and then, of course, we're going to... Adjust the drum in order to get onto the table and set up yet another hamster wheel.
Okay, so that happened then. Um, so we needed to trap them for a second anyway. Uh, they managed to do that by themselves. So, hey, thanks, guys. It's fantastic. Uh, right, we obviously don't have eight soldiers to go through the turnstile just yet. So we are going to put this red block uh, sort of on the edge of the table as much as we can. And then we are going to do some adjusting of the cannon. So we'll do it that way so they can hit the cannon. So what we'll do, adjust the cannon, put it onto the drum. Now, the easiest way that I found to do this was um, hit the drum, press the Y button in order to get your toggle view up and put the target just above the white arrow. So what you'll be seeing, once they start, they're going to hit the cannon and then it should the steam should blow off to the other side. And then what we could do is get a red block, put them over the balloon machine, and get to the next table. Right, so another little hamster wheel we're going to sort out here. So grab this red brick, put it on the edge, and uh, yeah, get them in. Okay, now these four are going back. What we're actually going to do now is pop them through the duplicator machine. So grab this one red block, uh, grab another one, and put them straight through. So we should then have a mega, megaton of eight soldiers. That's exactly what we need for the old tourney style. So once we've done that one, we're going to adjust the cannon. We're basically going to do the opposite of what we've done. So put that one on. <clears throat> and then with the drum, we are going to obviously put this on the other side again. Make sure to mark the target just above the actual uh, white arrow. And then that'll, that should then get them across nicely. I would also get a red block here and chuck it down in front of the green crusher so, you know, they sort of well, don't get crushed. But that should then give you all enough. There we go. That's that. That's got the vac tube working plus the elevator working. So, now again, originally, when the game first came out, this wouldn't open. You'd have to go... Uh, it's basically the gate in front of you downstairs would open. But, uh, you know, there's no point talking about that because this is now... Quit living in the past! Nobody lives in the past. Except for people like me who are a Man United fan. God, I love the past. Uh, right, so we have the first and second uh, first and second floors available to us now. And that is where we're going to go. What I would highly recommend first is just making sure that your little soldiers are not dying. So, again, if you just want to have a little check over there, just to make sure they are going to be in one spot for now, that's what we want. Then we can head to the elevator and um, go up to the first floor. Uh, but I have literally no idea why I just almost moved that, because uh, we don't need to do anything for now. Pretty sure, in fact, we are. We go into the vac tube, aren't we? Ah, you stupid
So once you've done that, we're going to head all the way up to floor number two. So there's only going to be one small room that we're going to go uh, and take a little look in. And it's going to be palace number one, where we're going to get free Willis. So obviously what we need to do here then is just chuck uh, one guy again in the hamster wheel and then cross the bridge that will appear on the left. Incredibly, I made an absolute pig's anal gland out of that one. Uh, made a right pig's ear out of that. So we've got most of them in a line except for one. So, I mean, if you can do that a lot better than I can, that would be fantastic. Uh, so we're going to put one uh, red block down so they basically only hit each corner. And then we need them going through all seven. We need them going through the turnstile. Now, obviously, if you've got them all lined up in a row, it's going to make for an easier time. But I'm going to spend just a minute or two um, being a bit more silly and a bit more stupid because I messed up. Mr. Butterworth, we are extremely pleased to see you back to your normal, creative and productive self in such an illustrious way. Your finished arachnid design has left all who have seen it here at the Guild in awe of its craftsmanship and engineering. Amusingly, some of the directors have been rediscovering their inner child while reviewing your prototype. A few days ago, Guild Master Clark was in Jesus, that was uh, a lot more complicated than it actually needed to be. Uh, right, so... Now, our broskies can't go anywhere, so don't worry about that. They're just going to do the loop-de-loop. -loop. So, we're free to roam as Free Willis. We're going to jump on these boxes, jump on the paint cans, up the ladder, and then we're going to go through the next vac tube in front of us. ...ability to keep themselves powered for so long... Many of the Masters have expressed a deep fascination with that particular feature. Master Rook... Right, so let us get out, and in the middle... Uh, so we basically have to do like a kind of a, a puzzle. So here's the middle, this is where Free Willis is going to appear. And this is what we're doing now for, uh, to, for the main story, is basically get three of these in a big electrical thing to get a big electrical glove. So nip on through to the boxes, slap on a balloon, and go forward. Incidentally, in each of these sort of middle areas, this is where we're going to find each chicken. 
Um, so just go up here, go to the left and uh, drop down and then climb up another ladder. Signs extremely interesting and we can't wait to see what you do with them. Yours, Lucian Mantelfeld, Secretary of the Guild of Toymakers. So you know the drill by now, grab a balloon and don't do that. Grab a balloon and actually jump and fly, free will this, fly. Right, before changing the wind direction, you can see the chicken in front of us now. So head to the left, just up this little plank. And up we go, up the boxes, and this is the first, remember this is the first out of three on this level. So we've still got another two to grab, which we won't be grabbing for a little while yet, so don't panicky worry about anything. And then we are going to aim the cannon at the, uh, there's going to be another white powered, uh, white arrowed power hub type ting, and then get Free Willis straight in it. So to finish this first bit then, all you're doing, jumping on the drum here, getting on the balloon, and we will effectively be taken to the exit. Woohoo! Boing, boing, let's go doing. Doing. Let's go in doing to toin. Noi. So, of course, now we need to go back into the room before heading down and put our soldiers through the next vac tube. Right, onto the first floor, and once again, we are going to find the room of the season. Or the room which is just on the only one on the first floor. Right, a uh, little bit of, uh, oh, no, man, Rose, you can't be having the same sort of thing as your mama. Please, Rose, no! 
No! Anyway, we'll come back to Shivering Rose in just a bit. So, here come our broskies. And again, there's going to be a free Willis Palace. So, we need to get our broskies on the uh, palace. Again, our little friends should be just uh, taking a little loop around. So as Free Willis, we can jump onto the ruler and continue forward on this paint can up on the shelf here. And then very carefully just keep nipping forward and we can jump down onto this area. So we're going to be doing a lot of back and forth on the treadmill. So treadmill it up first. Then we shall nip it off, and with, there you go, so I think they should be, right, obviously we don't want them going back through the vac tube, so that's not going to happen. Um, so we will just block the vac tube entrance for them for now, and then if we turn around here, we do actually need to get them over to the other side, so actually we need them to be crossing the bridge anyway. So let's cross the bridge, go to the vac tube, because uh, we can now head it over to the right-hand side. Table. Robert de Sable Bubbles. And there it is. So again, uh, set up a couple of red blocks in order to get one guy in your hamster wheel, electronic -usity. So the next bridge is going to open up, but we're not actually going to cross it for now. So uh, what we are going to do is uh, we're just going to trap them in this little area for the time being. We're going to need to get Brucey Will Will on the go again. And I do apologize, as I've said that, we are actually going through the vac tube. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that's my bad. So go ahead, grab another red block. And then what we're going to do is put these... Um, we're going to put... You can just put one dude here. Um, basically going through the treadmill, uh, if you wanted. But, well, we've got all the guys there. So we put them uh, just over the treadmill. <clears throat> now, as Bruce Willis, as Bruce... Uh, frillis go over the treadmill once again and then we can nip on through and eventually out he will appear right in the middle of here now there is going to be another chicken in this area that we are going to grab but first of all before doing that of course we need to get our soldiers back through so it is literally just a case of now putting it back through the vac tube. If this vac tube isn't working, uh, just make sure that they've gone over the treadmill the correct way in order to get the power back there. Because as you can see, that worked an absolute disaster. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, don't know what the hell I'm doing. Which you think I should since, you know, I've been working at this game for what seems like <laughs> three Christmases. Right, so as Bruce Phyllis there, uh, Bruce Free Willy, <clears throat> and obviously we've just trapped the soldiers, that's what we're doing there as well. Uh, so uh, grab a balloon and make sure to obviously go across when the fan has gone past. Then we can just jump straight into the steam and head to the right hand side. Before moving on, go to the right or sort of behind you and there is the next chicken in all its chunky chicken glory. Bam! See you on the dinner table. So that's the second one out of three for this level. And then you're just going to do the same. So, uh, balloon yourself over, watch out for the fan, and then you're just keeping going until you get to the end, and that's two out of three done.
Okay, time to get our little guys back down to floor zero. There's only a little bit left to do now, and then a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> right, so, again, you're just going to uh, flip the red block here, wait until they get over the treadmill the correct way, and then we will go to the other side and effectively now head to the exit door. Right, now the right-hand side should be open for us. Again, as you can see, the exit, we need one. One is all we need, and one's all we're going to get. So, head towards uh, the very end, really. You're going to see the table. This is where everyone is. And uh, this part's not so bad, really, um, as we sort of coming up to the end of this particular bit. Um, but we are going to use a red block to get ourselves ballooned over. And then, effectively, like I said, all we're doing, pretty obvious what's going to happen. We are going to put a lot of blocks down in order to climb up three sets of ladders, including we're needing one ramp as well. When we finally get to the top, let's get a red block going to the right to balloon ourselves over again. There's going to be another, there is going to be a palace, which we are going to get the final three Willis. Uh, pop another block down, so obviously they don't get, uh, so they uh, go through the palace while avoiding death. And then we're going to grab one more um, red block so we can get trapped onto the next table as well. Obviously, you don't want them falling to your death. So what you're going to do is put it at the edge so they start effectively um, just roaming around the place. But very important, before we go as Bruce Free Willy, we're going to move that block because that is what caused the bug for me and that's why I had to do this whole thing a bloody again. Uh, but for now, you're all good. There should be three soldiers, um, but you are. you should be good for now. Just double check. It should be just uh, looping around. So get yourself br uh, f Bruce. And before moving on, if you have a look to the left, just behind this big temple is the third and final chicken for this level. So there's only one level left to get in level 50. Un. Right, uh, get yourself on the drum. Bam, straight up. 
Now, at this point, we need to basically go up on the coal and through to the next section. But highly important, this red block right here, move it in the middle. So basically what happened to me was, when I um, eventually came back down, um, all my soldiers had died, and we're effectively going to get this glove with a big energy sphere thing on it. So because I left it there, my soldiers had died. Uh, when I rewound in order to get the um, energy, uh, the, the soldiers to be alive, my energy sphere disappeared, and it completely bugged out, and I had to do it again. So that red block, like I said, move it in the middle of something now. Otherwise, uh, once you've done that, we can now just head... Uh, all the way through these crushers and Yeah, boy, we doing it donkey style. No, wait So, if you really want to know what happened, since Albert's wife died, he basically started trying to become Iron Man. Because why not? Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. That is kick-ass QAs. Uh, so now you can press the A button in order to possess this little energy sphere ball. You'll get the final do-it-myself achievement as well. So what you would do then is possess that, which goes into your glove, and then you can shoot that on to, um, like you said, other electrical currents. So there we go, pop that over to the right. And now the gate will open, lovely. Now, like I said, at this point, this is where my soldiers died. Uh, that's why we moved it into the middle, so they kept doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. So you grab that, pop it on this next electrical current here, and that will open the bridge. It, like I said, it was at this point, it bugged out for me and I had to do the whole level again, which was, ha, oh, you can tell I was so delighted. <laughs> Right, so, <clears throat> we are now going to come up to the next Instruments of Death, which you should have four out of five by now. There's basically going to be a mechanical spider, um, so just let him kill you, and you should get the Instruments of Death achievement. Spider is going to be here, there it is, so it's just going to literally swoop down, kill your dead. So the achievement for you, as I said, it was still bugged out at this point, so it's not unlocking for me. But it should unlock for you right now. So go ding ding. Oh, yay. Wow, look at that. I'm so key. And the way we're actually going to do this is we're going to get a red block down so we can go to the balloon machine. And the only way to get rid of any mechanical spiders is, of course, energy spheres or energy balls or electric currents, whatever. So grab your electrical current, slowly move forward, and as soon as the spider starts going down, Hit it with your electrical sphere. Uh, we'll try that one again. Hit it with your electrical sphere. There we go, and that'll shoot them dead. That's the only way, then, that you can kill them. You can't just shoot them um, up above. For some reason, it doesn't seem to work. So, there's that one. Right, so off we go, then, to the other side. It's going to be the same thing. But what we, We're going to need to get one guy in this elevator in order to turn it on and get ourselves another concurrent current.
So, obviously line up the next red block in order to go over the bridge, but be aware there is a mechanical spider on this bridge, so you're going to need to take the current from above and do the same thing. Wait until he starts dropping, and then BAM! Tony Stark dead schniz! Ah, uh, yeah. So we've only got two left, which is fine. Uh, there is a bit of a duplication machine. That's also fine. So grab another couple of red blocks here. We need to get two people in the elevators. So this is the first one we will grab in here. And then go ahead, grab another red block. Because we, again, right after the duplicator, we're going to need to put this uh, red block. So it's pointing up and towards the next elevator. Nope, that'll be one in the elevator thing, and that'll be one going up to the left. Now, we just need one more uh, electrical current, electric ball, we'll just call it. Get one of these red blocks heading for the exit. There is another mechanical spider here, so just do your thing. As soon as he starts heading down, um, shoot him dead, and that is... Finally! <laughs> finally! Level 44... Complete and done. Now, levels 45 to 49 are literal cutscenes, so... Oh, take a breather, you guys. You done it. You goddamn beautiful son of a goddamn it. Yes! Yes! Lydia? Hello? I didn't realize you were here. What are you... You're taking Rose away. Look at the state of you. How long have you been down there? Oh, oh, the smell. What on, what on earth is that thing on your hand? Well, this? It's nothing. Will you tell me what it is you were doing here, Lydia? I am doing what I should have done months ago. You've had your chance, Albert. This is no place for a child. Come, Rose. Dad? If you snap out of it, you know where to find us. Dad? Go with Auntie, sweetie. You'd best go with Auntie for now. Dad? Dad! It'll just be for a little while, dear. I promise. Daddy loves you. I... Love you, Rose.
Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of time off. We've just got two levels left to do in Act 4. Now, I should point out, though, that at the time of recording, gameplay and recording, uh, the uh, achievement for uh, using less than three hints in Act 4 has not been unlocking, which is just great. But at least it wasn't the one for uh, Act 3, because if people had to do that again... I'm sure we probably wouldn't bother. So, welcome to Act 4, Redemption. Again, we've got two levels left with about, let's say about 30 minutes. Well, about 20, 20 to 25 minutes of gameplay, and then there's about a 20-minute epilogue where you do nothing but watch cutscenes. No. No. More rubbish. Lydia. Granddad. Oh. Oh, my girl. My sweet, sweet girl. Violet. There's still time. I know what to do. So then, Albert turning into Uncle Albert so quickly we didn't even notice. But yes, Rose has all grown up. She's got a daughter. Um, and yeah, they haven't seen each other for a while. So let's just do some setup things first of all, shall we? So what we need is this red block on this box in order for the soldiers to jump down and climb up the ladder. Uh, so, we can't actually get them going until Uncle Albert stops talking about the war. Uh, but we will get this next red block and basically put it on the balloon machine. And this is the first set done. All right. Let's finish this. Right, so go and grab this next red block when they're all over, and then pop them straight in the dollhouse. Six out of 18 done. So we're basically, for level 50, we're going to get the first 12, and then it's level 51 to get the remaining six, plus a whole bunch of miscellaneous achievements, including walking down the stairs and getting a bit of chuckin'. Chuckin' the lovered. So anyway, head into the next room. This is another one that slightly confused me, uh, first of all until you realize that it is quite simple when you're figuring out what to do. Uh, right, so open up the next set of toy soldiers. Now, what we need is one guy going off to the right on his own and the rest going uh, effectively straight. So let's grab a bodies curling in U block shape. Uh, no, we'll try that one again. Ah, there we go. I like it when it works straight away. Um, for the T-shape, obviously we need a T-shape, so basically we're just uh, heading towards the drum, if anything.
Okay, so once that is set up right here, um, we need to adjust the cannon to make it hit that uh, plank just by the chair there. So make sure you've adjusted the cannon so that it's hitting the plank. And when we've sorted all that out, make sure that one guy jumps over to the cannon. So once he's on, uh, once he's walking towards the cannon, uh, oh, we do need a little triangle as well to get on to the uh, next drum, which should then uh, just put him up straight away. But one guy is going over here and the rest, so for this next drum, we will move straight in front of us onto the chair. So this is the only way you can do this. One nipping off to the right and the rest just moving straight. So once you go, the uh, cannon should have hit the plank and he, uh, the other guy should have gone straight up here. Although we do need a U block at the top and we need a couple more blocks uh, to get set up. So from here on, it's pretty easy. It was just that first bit, which was slightly annoying. So there you go, that's how it should be. We've now got an electric ball that we can chill out with. We're going to grab a uh, the triangle so we can pop it here, which puts us through the turnstile, grab a moon, and uh, in fact, we just need to put that electrical ball to the other side of the room, which is literally just behind the door, and then we can set up for the level 50 finish. So just get him crossing the bridge and then you're going to grab uh, these two blocks to basically put them into the dollhouse and then it is a level 51 coming up. Dear Albert, how are you? I hope you have been looking after yourself. It has been well over a year since I last wrote, and I apologize for that. Things have been very busy here. You may have noticed I have been writing less frequently each year to a So like I said, this is where level 51 begins, so if for whatever reason you've messed up, you can restart the level, and it'll start you at 12 out of 18. Thank God. So anyway, heading up the steps, and we're going to first start off in this left-hand side room. Um, again, if you didn't have the instruments of death, there are a bunch of mechanical spiders on the fireplace, the mantelpiece, which we need to go to anyway. But again, you should have had them all unlocked uh, anyway. So with this first drum right in front of us, we are going to put it on this uh, wooden crate. Make it for me. I will continue sending you her news. Especially when it is news like this. You are a grandfather, Albert. Do you remember Henry Cobb, the young lawyer who works for Ernest? And that's all for now, so just get them cracking and then they'll end up by the balloon machine. Join us at Rose's big recital last year. Well, Henry asked for Rose's hand in marriage that night. They disclosed to us that they have had feelings for each other for a couple of years but they kept it a secret due to Henry's position at Ernest's firm. Their daughter, Violet, your granddaughter, was born two weeks ago. I have enclosed a photograph of her for you. Life goes on, Albert. 
If there is anything this sweet little creature has taught me, it is that. Maybe she can help you to move on too. Yours, Lydia. P.S. Please, when you're ready, send the photograph back to Ernest's office address, as Rose might ask after it. She does not know I have sent you it, as when I asked if I could, she said no. Okay, scratch that. We'll just try that one again. Sorry. <laughs> just watching everyone fall to their death. Let's try that one again, shall we? Make sure to put a block, obviously, down. So, you know, you won't uh, have your legs smashed in. Hooray! Right, to go ahead and pop a block down, we're obviously going to need to put one of our dude skis in this. I mean, it's not an elevator, is it? We'll just call it the electric machine. Uh, but we need to put the pinwheel so it's heading straight towards. Uh, so it's looking sort of down at the minute. So what we need to do then is just put it uh, right in front of the vac tube. Oh god, sorry, made an absolute rumple stilt skin out of that one as well, didn't I? Um, right, so with that done, we're going to now grab the electric uh, current. Again, if you need a death by mechanical spider, there it is. They will just drop down onto the drum, go straight on there. Otherwise, you can just wait for one to drop down and, of course, shoot him dead. That will also get rid of the other two. And happy days. The last chicken is also in this room, by the way. So, uh, again, we're going to need a red prison block just to keep them trapped over there.
And when I say trapped, I mean actually go through the vat tube, of course. I'm sorry, it's tired. It's been a long day doing this. Again, I've aged about 16 years now. So anyway, into the uh, sort of music room, if you call it that. We can now head all the way through. This is where we are going to trap our soldiers for just a little bit. And then as Free Willis, we are going to get uh, quite an easily missed achievement. Plus the last chakon. So first things first, first order of business. Um, we are going to, oh, geez, this is annoying when this happens, by the way. Uh, like I said, just make sure that your soldiers are trapped. If so, that's good. And as Free Willis, we're going to go back through the vac tube and kick the chicken, the final chicken, and get the no, no harm, no foul achievement. Now, if for whatever reason it doesn't unlock, it pretty much means you might have missed one. But when you get back to the study, um, in all the like bookshelf bits, you can see which chickens that you have kicked uh, because they've fallen down on the levels. Um, so if there's a chicken that's still standing up, it means you just need to kick the chicken in that level, which I didn't find till much later on in the game. Uh, but hopefully following along, you would have got all them. So now we can crack on with the sort of, in fact, no, we're gonna get another miscellaneous achievement here. So wait for free willis to come back through. Uh, you can't drop down into the piano here. You will smash your legs to bits, but you can grab a balloon and just uh, fall down straight away. So once you are free, Willis, just continue heading uh, head left here and go down about halfway down the stairs. That will unlock another achievement, and then you can just rewind yourself all the way back up. Okay, so now we've got those out of the way then, so there's no more collectibles to worry about. Uh, no more other miscellaneous achievements, it's just, let's get this done, finished, and- Ah, oh, god damn it! Okay, welcome back. Right, so, uh, grab the cannon, we're going to adjust that with the white arrow power hub up above. And then, of course, we can just sprint as uh, Free Willis there. And smash this one open. Now again, I did have to restart this level. Purely because there was a bit of confusion about how in the little girl's room, in Rose's room, to get everything connected. And as it turns out, it was just one simple thing I missed. Which I'll let you know in a minute. So that, anyway, that's the steam vent going on. So obviously, what we could do is just um, get a balloon and smash your way over. So do the same thing here then, grab a balloon, and then we're going to go effectively straight forward onto this next box. Now when we climb up and get onto the round table in front of us, uh, not quite there, uh, there is a mechanical spider again, so what we're going to need to do, so you can just wait on the edge of the table, that's fine. So just wait here for, just for a second, because we need to go and obviously get an electrical current. And where did we grab that one? We grabbed it from the uh, last room that we were in. So there we go. So go ahead, grab that electrical current, go back in. Now, when you make your free soldier uh, start walking, he will now start walking aut uh, automatically. So just wait again until the spider drops down, shooting dead. For some reason, this did seem to glitch out a couple of times. As you can see, it, it still sounds like he broke him when he didn't. So. Just rewind slightly and just shoot him again. Um, and then eventually he will just 
die on his own or something. I, I don't know. It's a bit weird, that one. But anyway, take control of him again. Make sure that the cannon is pointing towards the airship, of course. So once the cannon is pointing towards the airship, that'll drag that down. That will now give us the ability to uh, nip on over. So we can actually just jump over to where the next vac tube is. Um, doesn't matter if you do it now or in a bit. Apparently we're doing it in a bit. So with this drum here then, just in front of the platform, it's a train looking dealy thing. So we are going to move that right onto the box, put this next drum over to the next one. Uh, with the next drum, we're gonna pull it out ever so slightly, purely because of the airship in the way. And then we can move the drum over to the right hand side. In fact, actually what we're gonna do is move one guy over to the left, uh, to the left hand side in order to get the electrical ball going, electrical current, and the rest of the guys going through the turnstile on the right. Right, so again, be careful here then. So move this drum over to the left. As soon as, uh, uh, you're gonna need a red block as well in order to get your one guy in the electrical shaft, the electrical ting. Um, but it's just like the one uh, in the previous level there. So we get one guy going to the left. As soon as he's on the left and he's in, get the rest of the guys over to the right hand side. Now that, mate, is bang tidy. So they will go through the vac tube, which is going to be in the next room. So uh, what we could do here is just grab a T block and put it um, directly uh, here. Oh, we'll try that one again, shall we? Uh, so we will grab a triangle block, apparently. And then what they'll do is automatically jump on the drum to the left. And then they will just keep doing a loop-de-loop -loop on, the, on the next table here just by the bed. So they will continue to do the loop. So you don't have to worry about anyone dying, crying, lying, or styling. So we can just crack on and do a thing which we need to do with Mr. Free Willis. So jump onto the airship, jump across, and then head through the next vacuum tube. Once we have done this one, we're actually going to head downstairs, as this is where it ends up. So head downstairs and take your first right. So if we head towards the back, you can see a little blue machine and a little treadmill, etc. So wait for Brucey to come out of this one, climb up the ladder, and then just go over the treadmill the uh, w with the arrows are pointing.
Right, so once you have done that, we are going to get Free Willy back. No, it was actually this part in the girl's room, uh, in Rose's room, sorry, which just really, really confused me. And like I said, as it turned out, it was just like one simple thing and two simple paths. So as long as you've got one, you should have one green light going. That's exactly what we need. If you've got that, we're on the right path. So as Free Willy, we're just going to drop down. You should be okay from this height. And then we are going to jump up onto this drum. Go into the airship and basically go in the vac tube the same way as the other soldiers did. Okay, so once Free Willis has been spat out, we are going to jump on the paint can. This is going to be our last little bit of movement with um, our Free Soldier. So if you want to salute him by almost crashing his legs again, then you can do that. But uh, his last sacrifice is getting inside this electrical hell we call Electric Avenue. And then we take it higher, higher, higher. So that will get two green lights working, that'll get that back tube working, and that is the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, we like it. So grab the electric ball from the previous room, put it over here, and then it's literally now just a case of uh, setting up um, and uh, getting through to the other vac tube. Oh, we're almost there guys. We are almost there. We'll head down the stairs Head to the right into this next living room area into this next room And uh, yep, yeah, they are going to come through this back tube So We actually need to get them trapped for just a minute actually because we need to go and get the next electrical current Pop it downstairs, and the bridge will open the way. Oh, no, oh my God. So, uh, providing you've got every single soldier in every level through the exit, you will get the complete collection achievement. And now, now, 
this is the epilogue. We we are done. We are done. So uh, we completed the dollhouse. We're going to complete Act 4 as well, but you won't get that until the credits roll a little bit later on. And hopefully, by the time you're watching this, maybe in a little bit into the future, you will also get the achievement for getting every achievement and completing uh, Act 4 with less than three hints. Anyway, so this is the... Uh, the epilogue. It's literally just a case of watching Albert completely lose his absolute mind. Um, obviously, I would have edited it down because there's no point. Uh, literally, all you're doing is just going from sort of room to room. And the wisp will tell you the way and where to go anyway. So, yes, I have edited this down slightly. And then after a while, uh, this is where the epilogue finishes with Rose and Violet. Coming back, as you can imagine, Albert has, well, he's gone to the great beyond, as it were. Now, I know it was a difficult relationship, of course, but, I mean, Rose, you could have just seen your, your pap-aps one more time, kiss and made up before he went to the inevitable, you know, demise. In fact, the way Albert seemingly passed away, like a fairy tale. bruh. It was disgustingly sad, actually. Like, that's what I'm interpreting. Like, you know that Futurama episode where uh, Fry's dog waits for him outside Panucci's and he just, uh, you see him just die? Yeah, this, it, it's it's where, it's where Albert sort of, you, you'll just see it, but it's where he does it. It just, that's a heartbreaker. So, brilliantly told story, brilliant game. Just, I loved everything about this. Even aging, thanks to some of the uh, more difficult puzzles, was brilliant as well. Uh, but one thing uh, I should mention then, this isn't the end. Basically, you're going to have to watch all of the credits, which thankfully is a lot less than the epilogue, um, for a post-credits cutscene. It's literally just a jack-in-the-box having a look for 10 seconds, but that's going to get you another achievement. Helen, baby, I am coming for you! Let's do it in heaven's door. Yeah, getting laid in heaven's door. And there we go. So now this is where you should unlock the um, achievements for completing Act 4 and the one without uh, doing it in a, uh, as little hints as possible. Again, I am just going to skip the edit, but again, uh, you know, I'm just going to skip the edit. I'm going to edit out the credits. Take my hand, let me form a soul and help you to remember. And this is actually a really nice touch as well, just at the end here. In loving memory of Sharon Frederick, rest in peace, Sharon. Um, big love to you there and to everyone that knew you. Uh, but this is the post-credits cutscene. Once this is done, the, the you should then get the final two achievements, again, providing the game actually unlocks all the achievements when they do. And, uh... <laughs> oh! As Jack Black would say fantastically, we're done. We are just... Yeah! Now, this was a doozy. I really enjoyed it, but... Uh, oof, man, this one was a... Uh, yeah. This was a beefy, chunky beef burger. But there we go. So you should now have your 1,000 out of 1,000. Obviously, at the time of the recording, as you can see, these three didn't unlock. Uh, but hopefully, you would have got your 1,000 out of 1,000. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Really hope you enjoyed the game and the guide as well. If it did, of course, help. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters here and my YouTube members. And I'll see you in the next one. Big love!